Alright, let's go. Man, I hate when that happens. All right, let me know, Zoom. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? Do y'all got access to everything right now, Zoom? Zoom, let me know if y'all can hear me and y'all can see me now. Everything's good. You see my second camera. You see my third camera. Uh, let me know if you guys good. See my third, second, first. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Y'all don't want to waste no more time. Excuse my lateness. Um, just trying to share this out. One second, y'all. Stop sharing. All right, cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Excuse my lateness. Real quick, as we get into it, let me quickly go ahead. Let me hit this record. Recording in progress. All right, y'all. Welcome, everybody, to the Event Space Workshop. I'm your host, Nehemiah Davis. I'm extremely excited and pumped up to be able to share with you guys the exact step-by-step -step on how to find your event space, how to fund your event space, and how to automate it, right? On this workshop, I'm about to break down all the game you need truly to win in this industry. So what I need you guys to do, let's go over, go over and quickly go over these rules so you guys are ready for the time that we're about to spend here together. Rule number one, y'all, I need you guys to play all out. Somebody in the chat write, play all out, right? What does this mean? That means for this next hour and a half hour, I need your undivided attention. I need you taking copious notes, right? I need you tapping into the information I'm going to share, right? I need you to be locked in. Why? Because this is the information that helps impact and change a lot of lives. Number two, engagement is key, right? I tell people all the time, right? Whatever you tune into, you turn into. So you should be listening as intently as you can, but more importantly than just listening, you should be taking copious notes. The average person who comes to this workshop, they leave with anywhere between one pages to three pages of notes. So if you're not at that point where you got one to three pages of notes, that means you are not paying attention. Number three, let's go ahead and do this while we wait and while I'll give you guys the rest of these rules, right? Um, before I get to that, there will be absolutely no negativity allowed in the chat. At any moment, you feel as though, Nehemiah, this isn't for me. You simply can leave, right? This information won't do anything for me, but it will do everything to those who are receptive and ready to take action on the information, right? So I don't want you to feel like, oh, I got to stay around. No, you do not have to stay around. This is for those who are serious and not curious. And if that is you in the chat, somebody say, that's me, Neil. That's me. I'm playing all out. Four, I need heavy engagement inside of the chat. I need the chat to be going crazy as I am speaking, right? As I'm saying certain things, I need y'all all in with participation. Next, and this is probably one of the most important things you're going to do on this chat as we get started right now, right? What I need everybody to take a moment to do right now, everybody take a quick moment to do this right now. Share this link out with somebody who you want to get the same exact information, I hear this I hear this concept from so many people where they say yo it's lonely at the top, right? This concept where you hear people be like yo Neo it's lonely at the top, right? And generally that is from somebody who's not at the top because at any given moment I can open up my phone and I probably can call 100 different multimillionaires who are crushing it in their business. So it isn't lonely, right? When it's lonely is when you are the only person on your team winning. So we're going to pause for 30 seconds. You go ahead and share this out with a few people who you want to join. And as soon as you've done that, just say share inside of the chat, right? Just so you guys can make sure you got your friends uh, and your family is locked in. Next, um, very quickly, everybody take a moment to do this. At the very end of this workshop, you guys are going to see how we're going to give away $1,000 cash. I haven't decided yet. You decide. We can do one person $1,000 or we could do two people 500 You guys let me know. But at the end, you guys will see how to do that. And it's very simple. One of the first steps is very simply tag me right now in your Instagram and just saying, yo, you need to be a part of this workshop or something like that, right? So that's some, that's rule one. So you we're going to select multiple people here. We could do 1000 cash or two people 500 The choice is totally yours, right? And I believe that's everything, y'all. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Welcome, everybody, to the workshop. It is an honor that you guys are spending this time with me. Let's go ahead and get right into the information for today. Uh, let's get it. All righty, all righty, all righty. All right. Da, da, da. Let's see. Somebody said I shared it perfect. One second. All righty. One second, y'all. Let me just try to figure this out. All right, one second.
One second, y'all. I'm trying to figure out how to go to the next slide. All right. Give me a second, y'all. Yo, if you guys can see, I absolutely suck at anything techie, as you guys can see that. That's clear. All right, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and pull this up. All right, there we go. All right, we good now. All right, we are good now. Let's go ahead and... We are good now. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't know why, y'all. I'm so hot today for some reason. Hate when I mess up with techie stuff, but it's all good. All right, here we go. I think we're good. Share. Not share. Done. Slideshow. All right, cool. All right, let me know if you guys can now. Let me know if you guys can see it now. Let me know if y'all got you guys are good. If you good, let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's get right to it right now. Uh, let me make sure they can hear me on my cam, my mic. Let me know if am I good on the cam? Can y'all hear me? Uh, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and get to it, y'all. So, very quickly, y'all, um, again, welcome everybody who took time to come to this workshop. I'm very excited and pumped up for you. Um, I want to go ahead and take a minute. If you've ever been to a workshop, generally they come spend an hour on their story. I don't got a lot of time to do that. So, I quickly want to just share with you some of the people I help uh, run event spaces. So, I currently got multiple event spaces in Philadelphia, and I want to go ahead and share with you multiple people I help. And the reason why I want to share with you a lot of people that I help, because oftentimes I tell people this all the time, right? My brother Blake just shared this with me. I just added this, but he talks about how expansion, exposure equals expansion. Several of you on here right now don't believe this is possible for you. So, what I want to do is go ahead and share with you multiple people just like you who I've been able to help. So, when I show you everybody, I need you to congratulate them and get excited for them because this will be you. So, first, First up, y'all, we got Dom over there in Detroit. She runs and operates three different event spaces, y'all. Everybody say congratulations to her. Next, everybody say congratulations to Khadija, y'all. She said it's official, y'all. This is two months ago. I got the keys to my space. It's moving ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to do some updates. 2,800 square feet, kitchen at two bathroom storage and office. So one of our strategies, do y'all think that that's look by looking at it, do you believe it needs any updates? That thing is ready to go, right? And y'all, why y'all saying congratulations? I didn't get a chance to ask y'all, but where y'all tuning in from today? Next up, let's keep going. Next up, y'all, everybody say congratulations to Shanika, y'all. Hey, y'all, so we hosted our first events this week, and we hosted a viewing party. Um, Talents of Netflix series, The Mole, and the Sweet One birthday party. I have a few updates I would like to make, but overall, things went really well. Here are a few picks. How many people mad at your first event being with a net, net, Netflix, right? Next, everybody say congratulations to Oyinka, y'all. Oyinka actually just saw her this weekend. Um, she's inside of my $25,000 program, but came to another event so she could be a part of it, right? It's something that I learn about people, right? When everybody put this in the chat, learn, right? The more that you learn, at some point, you can remove the L. So Oyinka, y'all, I just was with her in Florida at her venue. She just locked in her second space in the same complex everybody say congratulations to her and the reason why she had to get a second space everybody for those who are like yo neil why because she's a full-time teacher right and and i need everybody to know this is perfect for people who work full-time she made three hundred thousand dollars this year and she said my biggest problem this year was i had to turn down dozens and dozens of jobs and i refused to let that happen to me for 2023 right everybody say congratulations to melissa y'all she opened up her spot um, grand open of function junction was a huge success. I had awesome turnout and four people booked on the spot. Somebody in the chat say more money, y'all. With many more very interesting. I'm so excited and grateful to Nehemiah Davis for making this possible through his leadership and mentorship for this entire ESS fan. Next, let's keep going, y'all. Everybody say congratulations to my guy, Kev, y'all. Second event space up and running. Welcome to Unique Event Hall, decor by Let's Be Unique. My wife decorating business, y'all. Somebody say all the money. So one of the concepts that I teach you once you get up and running is how can I get as much money out of these venues as possible? So he added on decorating that his wife does instead of outsourcing it. Now they get the venue money and the decorating money, right? Somebody say I need it all, right? Now, here's where we go. So very quickly, I need one commitment from everybody here on this particular workshop right now. I need your commitment in the chat. And somebody say I'm committed, right? So I just came back from Dubai. 
And the gen- and and the people who went to Dubai with me, they're inside of my my greatness mastermind, which is my most elite program. It's a seventy five thousand dollar investment, right? And the reason why I'm sharing it with you, we had about fifty five or sixty people come show up to Dubai and play all out, play all out during this entire weekend. We spent eight days in Dubai. Now I'm going to be sharing strategies and concepts on this particular training that I share in my higher level masterminds. Now my question to you is. of everybody here pay nothing to be here. So what generally that means, you're normally going to do nothing with the information. So can I get a, I'm committed that I'm going to use the info that I share with you guys and you guys are going to act like you pay for it. Because I tell people all the time when there's no pay, right? I tell people all the times, right? Normally when there's no transaction, there's no trans transformation. That's it's, it's true, but I need you to act like you pay. And when you do that, you guys are going to execute. So very quickly, y'all, as I stated, y'all, I want to make this very brief because I don't like to really talk about myself. You guys can Google me and do a lot of searching on me. But my name is Nehemiah Davis. For those who don't know, um, I've been featured on Fox 29, Channel 10, Black Enterprise, Visit Philadelphia. I've been awarded by State Farm, TD Bank, the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia Sixers, McDonald's, um, presented and spoke at the White House for Barack Obama. Uh, hoodie awards for Steve Harvey, as well as the city of Philadelphia. Those are just to name a few, right? In addition, you guys can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. For those who are like, yo, who's this guy? You guys can go check me on Instagram at Neil DeViso. Go follow me out and learn a little bit more. And you guys can also go ahead and check out my YouTube, verified on Instagram, verified on YouTube. So you guys can just kind of see who I am and what I do. So you guys understand a little bit about what I am. Now, one of my biggest flex, and this is something I want for everybody here, right? A lot of people could talk about the cars. They could talk about all the different financial accolades that they have. But the most important one for me, and this is something I want for everybody here, is I want you to have the ability to retire your mother, the ability to retire your father, the ability to retire your wife. And I don't know if anybody's in agreement with me, but I truly believe 2023 is that this is your year to do so. And just let me know. So I was able to retire my mom over about eight, nine years ago. And I was able to retire, no, maybe seven or so. And I was able to retire my wife. Well, she got fired. And then we assumed retirement about four or five years ago. Mm, about, mm, I want to say about three and a half to four years as of now. So those are a few things that I've been able to do, which I truly love. As you see, I was able to get my mom her dream car five years ago. And my biggest accolade is, again, everybody in my family, they either have a business, right? Or they're working for one of the companies that I have. And again, I say it again, exposure equals expansion. Somebody in the chat write exposure. Most of you guys, the game that I'm going to share with you on this workshop, I can assure you, you have never heard it before and you don't know it exists. I almost can assure you that. But you're going to leave here impacted. As you guys can see, this is my mastermind. We travel often, y'all. As you can see, some of my people in there, David Shans, you see up there, Terika up there, Dave up there, Marcus up there, Dana Christian up there the biz lawyer. So I take a lot of people in my mastermind all around the world with me to different events because again, exposure equals expansion. You generally become like the thing you hang around or see the most. So again, I've been to 56 countries all around the world. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, Very quickly, I want everybody to write this down. I'll say it a little bit later, but write this down quickly. Never listen to, never listen to they. And the reason why that's so critical and so important, y'all, the reason why that's so critical and important is because I've been to 56 countries around the world and I almost went to zero. And the reason why I almost went to zero, because I listened to my mom, excuse me, I listened to my grandma who never been out of the country, been on an airplane twice and told me, baby, don't travel. So a lot of you right here listening, you haven't pursued your goals and dreams because you listened to somebody who you wouldn't want to trade places with. Somebody said, this is my last year doing that. Now, as you guys can see, I had the opportunity. If anybody ever go Google me or watch me on YouTube, I had the opportunity to propose on my mentor show, Steve Harvey, and I uh, did the dumbest thing ever. So please, my gentlemen, do not do this. Um, I set and I put the ring on my wife's second, uh, on her right ring finger instead of her left. So y'all don't do that, but y'all could go watch that on YouTube and check it out. It's a little tearjerker. Um, As of recently, y'all was able to get married about three years ago. And prior to us getting married, the doctor told us, We would never be able to have any babies. My wife had about two or three miscarriages back to back to back. So we was a bit discouraged. But one thing I know for certain and two things I know for sure, like whenever you put your heart and mind to something, whatever you commit and believe, it will come true. We never listen to what those doctors said. We always believe it will work. And as you guys can see, before I got married, that's my big daughter. That's Destiny, 17 years old. 
with my wife. Um, as you guys can see on our left hand corner, you got King, which is my son. You got Ocean Marie, which is my two year old, turns three this month. And you got Dream, which is one years old. And it's just my pride and joy. Um, so, yeah. Now, a lot of you probably like, yo, Neil, why do you share all this? Why did you share with us? You've been to 56 countries around the world. Why did you share with us? We now currently got over, well, we over over 450 doors in real estate, right? We now got multiple event spaces, right? We now own over, what we at? We about, I think we own about our fifth different business, right? Our company done over eight figures in revenue. Why, why are you sharing any of those things with me? And the reason why I got to share these things with you, because oftentimes you don't believe it's possible for you. Right. So, again, I'm going to share with you the highs, but I got to share with you the lows because I don't know if anybody's here who was that person with that broken credit score. I don't know if anybody here is that person who came from nothing. I don't know if anybody here that person who who felt defeated. I don't know if anybody here is that person who was raised by a single mother. I don't know if anybody here is that person who felt stressed and discouraged and, and lifeless. Right. I don't know if I'm the only person here who felt like that. Right. But I was able to overcome every single one of those things with commitment. And I want y'all to take a moment to write commitment. I, I salute to you, Brittany, who said all above. That's vulnerability, right? Because I, I want to share with y'all, and y'all let me know if I can share, comment, share. I want to share with y'all my struggles. Because what I want y'all to understand is if Nehemiah could do it, the dude that went through all of this stuff, I truly believe any and everybody can do this, but you got to commit and you got to be willing to go all in. And if that's you, ready to go all in, ready to commit, ready to play all out, in the chat, somebody say that's me. So without further ado, let me go ahead and quickly break this down over five minutes, y'all. Then we're going to jump right into the workbook, and we're going to immediately jump right into the steps. So one of my biggest things, I want y'all to take a moment and write this down. My current situation is not my final destination. Write it down. Say it with me. My current situation is not my final destination. My current, yeah, matter of fact, are y'all enjoying this so far? I need the chat to go crazy right now. Drop some yeses or some flames inside the chat right now if y'all getting this game. Drop some yeses if y'all if y'all already feeling encouraged, right? If you already feeling encouraged. If you already feeling encouraged. Yes, 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 yes. I need the chat going crazy. Or I shouldn't even be able to read your name, y'all. Crazy. Right. So anyway, let's get it, y'all. So I was raised. Uh, my dad been in jail since I was two years old for committing murder. Um, for those who don't know, my dad been in jail two years old for committing murder. He died there about five years ago. I've seen my dad outside of me being two about a total of about seven times. Every one of those times was me visiting him in prison. I haven't seen him for about 20 years because he'd been dead for five and probably haven't seen him for 15 years prior to that. But uh, my mom and grandma raised me, y'all. I'm I don't know if I'm the only one who's been raised by a single mother. Um, shout out to my mom and grandma I'm doing a dynamic duel, taking care of me. Um, one of the things, and for those who don't know, I was raised in a drug infested neighborhood. If anybody from Philly here, I was born on 52nd and Gerard, 52nd and Wallusing. I spent the first half of my childhood hanging out in the courts, watching people deal drugs all day long, and I believe that was the only way out. I said that was going to be my story. That was going to be my way out, right? So fast forward, y'all, my mom said, man, I want to give my son the best life I had with the money I have, right? And the idea was like, how can I give my son the best life with the money I have? And she said she thought education was key. And I actually believe that, right? So she sent me to a school where there was 50 African-Americans in the school out of 1,000 people. It's called Archbishop, Archbishop Carroll in Radnor, PA. And we used to take about a 45 minute to an hour commute every single day. And when I got there, and I want you guys to take a moment, write down my favorite quote. Once your mind is expanded to a new concept or idea, it's hard to go back to his original way of thinking. I'm going to say it one more time. Once your mind is expanded to a new concept or idea, it's hard to go back to his original way of thinking. What that means is once you see you can have more, it's going to be very hard for you to settle for less. Once you believe you could become more, it's going to be very hard for you to settle, right? Everything, and I want y'all to note this, everything that settles is at the bottom, y'all. So I don't want y'all settling, right? So fast forward, right? Um, my mom sent me to school. I did great ninth grade. I spent the night over at my friends' homes. They exposed me. Dad owned hospitals. They owned insurance companies. They just owned a bunch of things. One of my good buddies, Frank Coco, the dude had a pool house, right? I used to ride four-wheelers and dirt bikes in Philly. We used to ride them on his acres, y'all. It was just a different world. So I went there ninth grade, got exposed. Went there 10th grade, got exposed. Went there 11th grade, ended up getting kicked out. I ended up going to a school in Philadelphia called MCS Charter School. Veronica joined. That's where I first learned about mentors. I want y'all to write that down. Mentors are key to everything. They allow you to cut the, the learning curve and get there quicker, right? So fast forward, y'all. I ended up going to that particular school. I had the opportunity to go to college. Went to college. First few months, I did an amazing job. 
then everything started going downhill. I started hanging around the wrong people. Can anybody take a guess what happened to me there? Mind you, dad been in jail since I was two, got kicked out of high school. My next thing was, y'all got kicked out of college. So now to this point, y'all, dad been in jail since I was two, got kicked out of high school, got kicked out of college. And up until this point, I had nine jobs and I've been fired from every single one of them, right? So what happened in that very moment was I went to a final job, which was called Atlantic Aviation. And again, this is my favorite quote. Once your mind by Oliver Wendell Holmes, once your mind is expanded to a new concept or idea, it's hard to go back to his original way of thinking. And what that means is very simple. Once you believe you can have more, it's going to be extremely hard for you to settle for less. Right? So what does this mean, Neil? What I ended up doing, y'all, went to this job, and every single day I would see multimillionaires and billionaires get off of their planes, get off of their jets, right? Every single day, this was my life. I've been on Donald Trump's plane. I got on his 220-passenger plane, converted down to a house, white carpet everywhere, gold everywhere, gold sinks, gold bed posts, TVs. It was the works. It's something that I, you would only imagine in the movie, right? Been on the owner of the Cowboys plane, right? Been on, uh, uh, been on uh, I saw Oprah coming. I saw Bill Gates come in, right? I see, just seen so many people all the time, right? But what, what, what the seed that was planted in my mind was, Nehemiah, you could become that, right? And I want y'all to write this down because it's going to be critical in y'all future. Everybody write this on y'all paper. Hold on to your vision. Because just because you can't see it happening now don't mean it won't happen later. Can anybody take a guess what happened to your boy there? Y'all got it right. I got fired. So now I'm dabbing in the jail, jail since I was two, got kicked out of high school, got kicked out of college. I've been fired from 10 jobs. Now I started hearing from all of these people talking about, Nehemiah, you will never become anything. Nehemiah, you will never amount to anything, man. Like, And I want y'all to take a moment to write this down. This is critical. I said it earlier, but I want to say it one more time because if I would have listened, it would have messed me up. Never listen to they. 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 Why is this critical? Because I almost listened to all of them people. Nehemiah, the rate that you're going go on, you're going to be dead or in jail. The rate that you're going to go, you're going to be your father's cellmate. Nehemiah, the rate that you're going to go, you're going to be homeless. Nehemiah, you will never amount to anything. Nehemiah, it's impossible for you to do anything right. Nehemiah, you are screw up. Nehemiah, you are F up. Nehemiah, you will never become great. And what those were, were those were affirmations of negativity from somebody who counted me out. And I almost counted myself out, y'all. But in that moment, I started to think like, man, maybe these people are right. Maybe if I keep going down this path, maybe if I keep hanging around the wrong people, maybe I will go to jail. Maybe I will die. Maybe I will amount to, amount to nothing. And what I realized, what happened to me, guys, in that very moment, in that moment, I say, yo, enough is enough. Nehemiah, it's time for you to do something about it. And here's where we are, y'all. We in 2023 right now. And I need everybody to say, it's my fault. I need everybody to say it's time for me to take action. So in that very moment, y'all, I say, yo, Neil, it's time for you to go start this business. And that in that very moment, y'all, I became mentally unemployable. I stopped doing the blame game. A lot of us right now in life are not where we want to be because we blame everybody else for our conditions. We blame everybody else for our circumstances. We blame everybody else for what's going on in our life. And in that moment, I decided, Nehemiah, I'm no longer blaming other people for what's going on wrong in my life. Nehemiah, I'm no longer talking about all the reasons why it won't work, and I'm going to start finding reasons why it will work. Nehemiah, I'm no longer going to be negative. Nehemiah, I'm no longer going to tell me I can't do it, right? And in that moment, y'all, I made a decision. I want y'all in the chat right decision. And the decision is 2023 got to be the best year of your life. 2023 is the year that I stopped making excuses. 2023 is the year that I stopped settling for less. 2023 is the year that I stopped playing with my potential. And that's what I did 15 years ago, y'all. And the fast forward today, I started the fruit truck. Then I started the junk removal. Then I started the cleaning company, right? Then I started the event spaces, the education company, and healthcare company. And the rest is history. I share all that with y'all to say because I need you to understand for anybody on this workshop right now going through some stuff, right? You got to go through your stuff to get to your stuff, right? And what a lot of you don't understand, so I just paid uh, David Goggins $160,000. He came and spoke at our event. With travel, we paid him about $180,000, right? Flew him in, him and his lady, right? $180,000. He sat on the stage for an hour. You know what he did for that entire, entire hour, y'all? Can anybody take a guess what he did for the entire hour? He sat there and told us our story. I need you guys to get paid. And it's something my guy David Power talks talk about. I need you to get paid for your pain. So everybody who's going through something, understand it's preparing you for where God is about to take you. But in this year, in this season, y'all, you got to do something about it. 
And the reason why I got to get in the mindset, y'all, because I'm going to tell you guys how to get event spaces. I'm going to tell you how to get credit. I'm going to tell you how to win. But if you don't have the winning mentality, if you don't have that Kobe Bryant Mamba mentality, that MJ mentality, that Tom Brady mentality, right, it's going to be hard for you to be successful. Keep it real. How many people in here know you would be much more successful if you had the bulletproof mindset? If you had that it has to work or it has to work mindset. If you stop making excuses mindset. If you stop sharing your big goals and dreams with small-minded people mindset. Keep it real with me in the chat. How many people know 100% you know you will be doing a lot better than you're doing right now if you had this uh, mindset, if you had this intensity, if you had this vision, this goal, these dreams, right? I was uh, filming. I had a podcast interview with my mentor, E.T., today. Right. And as we sat down, he talked about, man, it's so many people not living up to their full potential because they allow somebody, an uh, outsider, to project their fears and their dreams on them. Somebody in the chat said, this is my last time. This is my last day making excuses. This is my last day blaming other people. This is my last day sharing my big goals and dreams with small-minded people. And I'm going to be honest. Sometimes those people are your husband, your wife, your mom, your sisters. Why? Because they want you to stay safe. They want you not to be, they want you to stay in the place of comfort. And y'all, you can't have comfort and, and, and faith at the same time. Like you can't be at a place of comfort and trying to grow. There's no way to be, if you're pumping iron, it ain't no way you're going to pump iron, right? And do it without, without feeling pain. So again, y'all, this is y'all year. I need y'all to get ready to level it up, man. This is y'all year. I need y'all to get ready to tap fully in. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Open up y'all workbook. Let's get right to it, man. Um, let's get to it. Yo, guys, if y'all on my Instagram live right now, do me a quick favor. Just click the link in my bio. Join the Zoom. I'm about to end this live. Join the Zoom right now. All right, y'all. Let. Me, all right, guys, let me just get a drink of water. I'm burning up right now. Do y'all mind? Can I get, can I get a two-second break? I got to cut my air on. One second. I had somebody come turn the uh the heat the air on, but they put the heat on. Golly. All right, y'all ready? A million air, could you feel me? They put the heat on in this joint. Take your time, Fran Francine. What up? Steven, you dropping gems. Let's go. Brittany, leave that thermostat alone. What up, y'all? Hope everybody, y'all, let me know how y'all feel. Y'all also, real quick, let me know how y'all learned about your guy. Because we're about to go crazy. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, Instagram, YouTube. Let me know if it was somebody in particular. Let me know. Social media, Trapper, IG, Keys. Love, love. Cool. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. We go on and get that later. Um, y'all, we're about to get to it. Make sure y'all share this out right now with a family member or a friend. So let's go ahead and pull up your event space workbook. If you don't have one, just go ahead and take notes. Let's go get into it. Y'all can read all of this on your own. I ain't going to go through that. I'll read you more success stories as we continue to go through. But let's go ahead and get to our very first thing, which is our commitment statement, y'all. Um, one of the most important things I believe you will do in your life is making a commitment to yourself. I'm going to say it one more time. I believe one of the most important things you will do in your life is making a commitment and an oath to yourself that success must happen. So take a moment. Everything that I do, every presentation I do, every workshop that I do, I make people take a moment and write a commitment statement that they must abide by, right? Because it's easy to give up on your goals and your dreams when you got nobody holding you to them. So let's go ahead and take a moment to write this down, y'all. Take a moment to sign your commitment statement. I'm going to do everything in my power to get my event space in the next, excuse me, I'm going to do everything in my power to get my profitable event space in the next three to six months. This space will give me financial freedom and time freedom. I'm willing to put the work in to make it happen. I'm going to read it one more time. I'm going to do everything in my power to get my event space in the next three to six months. This space will give me financial freedom and time freedom. I'm willing to put the work in to make it happen. Do me a quick favor directly under it. I need you guys to sign it. I need you to date it. And once you've done that, say done. And the reason why uh, the reason why this commitment statement is so important and so powerful is because so many of you, in all honesty, y'all, y'all going to quit. It's still, it's still the beginning of the year right now. In the beginning of the year, you motivated. In the beginning of the year, you pumped up. In the beginning of the year, you ready to run through a wall. In the beginning of the year, you you on, you on this, ah, I got to go get it. And let life start happening to you ready to quit. 
So the reason why I need you to write a commitment statement and sign it and put a date on it, because I need you to identify this is the oath you're making to yourself. Whether you take action on this information, it won't do anything for me, but it will do everything for you. Directly under it, this is critical. I need you to take a moment and write down three people who you refuse to let down in this season of your life. Like, you are doing it for them. Three people. Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Is it your wife? Is it your husband? Is it your cousin? Is it your boyfriend? Is it your girlfriend? For me, y'all, every single day I wake up in the morning. And unfortunately, let me be honest. Unfortunately, I look to my left, which my wife is there, which I love seeing. But I look to the right and all three of my kids, three under three, is in the bed with me. (laughs) I need them out of my bed. I don't know if anybody can feel me right there. But that is my reason why I get up and I got to go get it. And then I have a conversation with my mom. I, I got to go get it. Then I think about the 30 employee plus staff members that we have. And I'm like, yo, I got to go get it. So I share these with you because you have to have a reason why you do what you do, because it's easy to quit and it's easy to retreat on yourself. But when you make a decision that you're doing it for something much bigger than you, you got a big enough reason to keep you going directly under the people you're doing it for, I need you to take a moment and write down the reasons. Is it for time freedom? Is it for financial freedom? Is it for generational wealth? I don't know who needs to hear this, but in 2023, somebody's firing their boss if somebody wants to. I don't know who needs to hear this, but in 2023, somebody's letting go of that second job because you're replacing it with your event space. But you have to be devoted and you got to be committed and you got to be willing to go all in and not give up. Let me know if y'all picking up this game that I'm dropping on y'all, y'all. Let me know. Next, let's keep going, y'all, because we don't got a lot of time. Um, These are questions before the workshop. You guys could do that at a later date. Quickly, let's go ahead and do this, y'all. The average individual got 30,000 thoughts going through their mind. And here are some of the thoughts that will go through your mind. Well, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is possible for me. I work full time. Well, Tanisha worked full time. She got three event spaces. She made a million dollars with her event spaces. Oh, Yinka worked full time. She made 300000 this year with one event space. Uh, LaShonda worked full time as a kindergarten teacher. She's making $20,000. So right now, your mind begin to play tricks on you, begin to tell you all the things that you don't want. The average person has 30,000 thoughts going through their mind every single day. This is why it's so important that you start affirming positivity through your mind. Right. And one of the things I want to say before we go forward, I want everybody to take a moment to write this down because I believe it's going to help you in this year for you. Right. Everybody write it down. Today's date is what? January 1st. Today's date is January 1st. Neil, what do you mean specifically by today's date being January 1st? January 1st simply means this. Every single day when you believe it's January 1st, you're waking up with you're waking up with new resolutions. You're waking up with weight loss goals. You're waking up with fitness goals. You're waking up with finance goals. You're waking up with money goals, right? So imagine if you could put the switch and act as every day is the same. Every day you wake up on fire. Every day you wake up ready to go through a wall. Every single day for the last 15 years, it's been January 1st for me. I don't know another day. If you ask me literally what today's date is, all I know of is Sunday, but I don't know what date it is. Why? Because in my mind, it's January 1st. It's another day to rumble. It's another day to pump. It's another day to put effort in. It's another day to give it everything that I got, because if I don't give it everything I got, who's going to do it for me? I literally was on doing a podcast today with my mentor, E.T. He said, nobody could put the battery in your back. Like, Neil, I picked them up in my wife's Lamborghini truck, and, and it's so it's so crazy how... Just last, like, like, excuse me, like five, six years ago, I used to pick them up in Philly in my GMC truck, and I, I had to revisit that, right? Because I served my way to success. But he said, Neil, the, when you press that button on, right? In life, people got like you got to press your own buttons. Like I could put it, I could give you the information, I could tell you what you got to do, but you got to have the drive inside of you. You got to have the intensity inside of you to go make your goals and dreams happen. Because if not, you're not gonna make it happen. There's some people who are going a lot further and a lot faster than other people because it's all based on the energy and effort that they're putting into their goals and their dreams. Which one are you? Are you going to be the person that go all in or are you going to be the person that's going to remain timid? Are you going to be the person who commit first, figure out the rest later? Or are you going to be the person who keep talking about next year, next month? You must make a decision. Which person are you going to be in this season in your life? So very quickly, everybody take a moment. Just say to yourself, money comes easily, frequently, and abundantly. Write five affirmations and comment the word done. 
Write it down. Money comes easily, frequently, and say it to yourself, y'all. There's something powerful. For those who don't know, it's two parts of the brain. You got the conscious brain. You got the subconscious brain. Despite how complex the brain is, the subconscious brain has no reasoning ability. Neil, what do you mean by that? The subconscious brain had no reasoning ability. This means whatever you tell the subconscious brain, it believes. If you say I'm successful, if you say I'm a winner, if you say I'm fruitful, if you say I'm earning millions of dollars, if you say I'm the best, your subconscious mind cannot decipher whether it's a truth or if it's a lie. So what happens is it gives you the thing that you want. But a lot of you in life right now, you're getting all the things you don't want. Is there anybody here who ever went to go look at a car and now you see the car all day long? Like you want to go look at one car now all day long, you see an exact same car. Is there anybody here who ever played a song to start their day and now the song is playing in your brain all day? Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom. So imagine now if you start conditioning your brain to think in a certain way, think in a success pattern. Think about the things you want versus the things you don't want. You have to arrive at the destination of your mind before you arrive there in your life, people. This is why we're not successful because we don't believe. The, my, my number one favorite book everybody got to pick up is called Think and Grow Rich. Problem is we thinking, and we thinking about being broke. <laughs> we thinking about not winning and then we not winning. Next, everybody quickly write it down. I'm a profitable event space owner. I'm a profitable event space owner. Just write it five times. Comment word done. Say it five times. Let's keep moving. Now, let's get it. So, everybody, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So, in this minute, I want y'all to take a minute, right? And you, go, you guys are going to see how important this activity is with you later on as we progress in the workshop. But you're going to take this activity so serious. Um, I got my guy, PD. You'll see an interview from PD on later on. And uh, he was saying how he wrote down everything that he wanted in his first event space. And now he's doing twelve to 14000 profit every single month out of his small space. And he said, believe it or not, everything that I wrote down, I have. Neo, still to this day, I'm constantly saying my affirmations. And I realize that everything that I'm saying is coming to pass. Everything that I'm saying is working. Anybody here ever say, yo, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, and you just remain tired? <laughs> Anybody here keep saying, uh, I never win something, and you realize you never win something? Anybody just keeps, I'm living, pay, I'm broken, and you realize you stay like that? Marvette, I like what you're talking about. I'm working for, it's working for my good. All right, next, everybody, let's get it, y'all. What is the name of your event space? Let's move. We got to move fast because I lost about 10 minutes earlier with y'all. I apologize. What is the name of your event space? Everybody take a moment to write it down. When you are naming your event space, it should be something marketable, and you guys can write it inside of the chat. When you guys are naming your space, it should be something related to venue, hall, space, banquet hall, right? Uh, suites, right? Something that people can clearly decipher that is a space. One of mine is called the Greatness Center. One of mine is called the Foundation. The Foundation would not be a good example of that. Luckily, I'm a marketer, so I know how to get people in there, but that wouldn't be a good example of something I would name my space. House of Events. I like that. The Elite Room. The V Suite Events and Designs. I like that. Chef Yvette's event. The Kingdom Venue and Event Space. Go ahead. Co comment below. What we got? It's a Family Affair Events. The Small Event Space. Uh, um, um, Legacy Events. Center Point. The Gathering Event Space. LPA. Bella Vista Venue Hall. 1129 Events. I like it, Kara. Cool. Let's get it. Let's keep going. What city and state will your event space be located in? Everybody take a moment. Write that down and write it in your chat. Next, everybody keep moving. Uh, when is the grand opening date for your space? Everybody take a moment and let me know when your grand opening date for your space is. I need the month. I need the day. I need the year. Now that we're in 2023, I expect everybody's grand opening to be this month. I mean, excuse me, this year. And again, one of the things I always tell people, in order to be prolific, you got to be specific. I need the month. I need the day. I need the year. It doesn't matter if you don't get it sp precisely on that date, but you need to have set your intentions on making it happen, right? We got 11-5-2020. We're in 2023, not 2022, somebody put. We got May 26, 2023. We got 12-1-2023. We got July 15, 2023. We got April 2023. We got uh, Merlin... Uh, April, uh, 11 to March 1st. All right, cool, cool. Let's keep moving. Next, um, 
Next, uh, why is it important for you to have your event space other than money? I don't know why it's important for you. I want y'all to take a moment to write down, why is this important for you? Why is this a critical piece, something that you really need to do? I'm not sure why. Why is this something you must do? Next, let's keep moving on. What is the monthly income goal you want to generate in 2023 with your event space? How much money do you want to profit a month? Is it $3,000 a month? Is it $5,000 a month? Is it $10,000? We specifically teach people how to profit three to 15 k a month with our strategies, right? Uh, how much do you want to profit? 10 k a month, 20 k a month, 30 k a month, 50 k a month, 100 k a month, right? Let us know, right? Get very clear on that. Write down what the goal is. Next, are you ready to take action to get your space? Of course. Now, let's keep moving, y'all, because we don't got a lot of time. What color is the exterior of your venue? One of mine is red brick. One of mine is black. One of mine was purple. I turned to black. Everybody won't have the opportunity to be able to paint their venue because some people will have warehouse spaces. Some people will be in shopping centers, right? But if you had the opportunity to identify what you want it to be, no, you want your space to be unique. And if you can't make the outside unique, you at least want to make your sign unique and make it stand out. Right there, next, right next to it. What? color sign you want start researching this week what do you want your sign to look like next um what color is the interior of your venue one of my recommendations people is you go white or you go gray nia why do i go white why do i go gray one number one when you go white it makes your venue look larger when you go gray it, it all not necessarily makes it go larger but it's a great neutral color one of the mistakes that i see a lot of people make is and i'll give you an example you'll go get a venue and the venue will be pink and I'm and, and let's say you want to cater for men's events. You want to have men's events, but you're getting a pink venue. That's probably not going to work, right? So one of the things I say, unless your venue is going to be gender specific, right? You don't need to be making it certain colors, right? So if I know I'm if I know I'm primarily serving men, I'm not going to probably go a pale yellow event space. If I know I'm primarily serving women, right? If 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 I guess if all of my clients are women, I'm probably not going to make the space like this manly color, right? Like purple and gold. Like I don't like I don't know what I would do. But, but what I'm trying to say is make sure you make your space as versatile as possible because you want somebody to walk in and you don't want them not booking with you because of the color of your space. Let me know if this is making sense. You want it to be eat. Like I'm not going to throw floral on the wall and I'm trying to host a lot of football parties. Right. Next, what color? Uh, what color and type of floor you want? There's two type of floors I recommend. Number one floor. What well, number two would be epoxy. Epoxy can somewhat be expensive depending on who you who who you're doing it with. But the idea, everybody say, how can I make my event space as indestructible as possible? Which means you could drop glass on the floor and nothing will happen. You can leave water on the floor and nothing will happen, right? Every time I'm thinking about how can I make this venue last as long as I can without doing any maintenance, right? So the first number one recommended floor I recommend is luxury vinyl. And this is specifically if you got to get a venue, you got to add floors and all of this. With our strategies, a lot of people go get venues and don't have to do much of anything leveraging the strategies that we go over, right? But one of the things I recommend, luxury vinyl, the reason why you want to go luxury vinyl, y'all, is because it's very durable, it's very affordable. You could go in and take a bottle of water, pour it on the floor, come back in a year, and nothing will be wrong with that floor if it's a good luxury vinyl. So again, everybody in the chat write durability, 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 right? Low, low maintenance, uh, Brittany just said. Absolutely. Cool. Let's keep going. How many, venue, how many people do you want your venue to hold? I recommend 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. Um, next, what's one cool feature you want your venue to have? You can go ahead and list it. I believe as you get going, right, and we teach our MVP model, but as you get going, you want to begin to start adding cool features, whether it's a grass wall, whether it's a bar, whether it's lighting, right, LED lighting, right, surround sound, different things that allow you to increase the amount of money that you can make from your customers, right? We just wrote it down. Uh what is the square foot of your space? We just wrote it down. You want to recommend 1,000 to 3,000 square feet for you guys to get started. All right, cool. So let's keep going on. All right, cool. Now, let's get going. Yo, if y'all already enjoying the game we got, y'all, we are 10 minutes away from me breaking down the steps. This is where it's going to go lightning fast, and y'all got to be ready to take a whole lot of notes in a short period of time. So if y'all ready for it, let's get in. Right now, is it going to be a good time for you to share this with more friends and family. Well, it looked like our room is about to be maxed out, but share this with more friends and family so they could get this game that we're dropping now. So let's get it going. 
Someone said 5,000 square feet. I have it already, right? And I'm happy that you're here, here Danielle, because Danielle or the, 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 the issue that most people have, right, that come back to me, it's a few reasons. A lot of people come back to me. They join me, pay, my, pay me to join my program, right? And they be like, yo, Neil, I got my space. I just don't know how to market. Well, we give you every type of possible way to market. The other thing is so many people come to me, yo, Neil, I signed the bad lease. Can you fix it? Well, it's hard to fix you signing the bad lease, but this is why I tell people pay to get coaching, pay to get mentorship. Do Somebody, write, somebody in the chat write fast pass. You want to figure out a way to cut your learning curve as, as, as quickly as you can. So anyway, let's go ahead and get it. So why you should get an event space. Now, the reason why I want to break this down with you, because a lot of people were literally in, and you guys let me know when I'm done this session about seven to 10 minutes, I've been debating on cutting this out of the presentation, but I just feel like it's important, right? But I've been debating on cutting it out, but I want to go ahead and quickly break it down. So on my left side, anybody here from Philly? On my left side from Philly, if you guys look at that, if you're from Philadelphia, y'all, this is my first venue. Well, my second venue is 4141 Ridge Avenue. If you're ever in the area, just ride by. It's on Ridge Avenue right off of the highway. My second venue, guys, that you are looking at, that is the foundation. That's 3848 Lancaster Avenue. That is in West Philly. Um, that is in West Philly. So you guys can go ahead and check them out if you're ever in the area. But let me go ahead and break down why you got you should get into real estate. I mean, why you should get event space. So for those who don't know, man, when I first got started, before I even knew what event spaces were, I had somebody tell me you should get into real estate. And for those who don't know, I love real estate now, right? It's something that I've learned. Doug, Doug Depp is one of my first mentors to teach me all about real estate and make me understand the importance of it. Um, but prior to him, I had somebody like, yo, Neil, you should get into this thing called real estate. I'm like, yo, what, what, what do you do with real estate? They said, what a lot of people do, they do flips, they do buy and holds, but I recommend you do something called a buy and hold. I'm like, what's a buy and hold? They're like, a buy and hold is when you buy a property, you fix it up, and then you rent it to a different person, right? And they pay you every single month. I'm like, all right, what is the process to getting it, right? They said it's something called a sheriff's sale, right? And I'm from Philly, so it's just something called a sheriff's sale that they do, and they were doing it like, Two to three times a month, 38th in market, right? It's called the sheriff's sale, where they sell properties, and the minimum price you could get one at the time was like $600. So we used to go there all the time. My buddy bid it on several. We ended up getting one together, but that partnership didn't work, so we broke it off. I was able to go ahead and acquire a three-unit building, excuse me, a, a three-room building from a family member, right? It was $10,000. I was able to fix it up, get it all going. And I was able to move in a tenant, right? At the time, I didn't know much about real estate. So I said, what would be a good price point to charge these tenants? And it was $750. And guys, I put this on Craigslist. And I'm telling you, this thing was ready. And the lady moved in within a week. Now, let me be very clear. That is something I don't recommend. I didn't do no background check. I didn't check anything. Lady like, hey, I'm ready to move in tomorrow. That is a red flag. If you find somebody like, I'm ready to move in tomorrow, because it come to find out, y'all, the lady was already evicted from somewhere else. So she was just trying to not have her family at a homeless state. Um, so I'll talk more about that at a later time. But anyway, um, anyway, let's keep going. I've been to their first venue in 2006. Let's go, Sophia. I appreciate y'all. Let me know if anybody else been to my venues, y'all. So anyway, y'all, let's keep going. Let me know if you guys get in game as well. So fast forward. Um, I moved this lady in October. Her name is Ethel. She had five kids, a bunch of kids, had grandkids. I moved, Let me stop saying this lady name for people who know her. My fault, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I moved a lady in, and she moved in the property, y'all. I was elated, y'all. She gave me first month, last month, security, hard, cold cash, right? So it was $7, $14, I got $22.50 in cash. I felt rich. I never had that much money from a rental property ever in my life or something that I would call passive income. So at that time, I'm like, I'm rich. So cool. November came. I mean, she moved in October, kind of beginning November. So her first month of rent was due in December. December came, went to knock on the door on the first. Oh, I don't have it, Neo. Come back on the fifth. I'll have it. Uh, came back on the fifth. Didn't have it. Came back in two weeks. Didn't have it. All right, cool. So they said, hey, Neo, you're probably going to have to do something called an eviction. I'm like, what's that? They said, well, you got to go down to the sheriff's cell. You got to evict them from the property. So I went down there January 2nd or 3rd, right when the city opened back up. And I'm like, hey, um, what is the process for evicting this lady? She's in my house. She hasn't paid me since she moved in. And they said, tell me a little bit about her. I said, well, you know, five kids. Are just, all right, cool. You're going to have to come back in a month. Uh, one is middle of the winter. We can't put anybody out like that. So you got to come back. I'm like, all right, cool. So fast forward, for those who do not know, just for anybody who's dealing with real estate, 
the court system isn't on the tenants, isn't on the landlord side. They're generally on the tenant side, right? It isn't on the landlord side. They're generally on the tenant side. So I'm like, all right, cool. Went back January. I mean, went back February. Said, all right, we can start the process. I ended up getting the lady out in March. So I got no rent December, no rent January, no rent February, no rent March. She ended up messing up the property I had to spend. It was about seven grand or so to get the property back up and going. At this time, y'all, I didn't have a mindset that I have right now. Somebody in the chat, right? It has to work or it has to work. I didn't have the mindset, y'all, in the chat, not going crazy enough for me. I need the chat to go nuts. If you guys see me looking this way, that means I'm looking at the chat because I can't see it off of my cameras. So anyway, y'all, it has to work or it has to work. So fast forward, I'm, I'm, I'm going through this process. The lady gets um, kicked out. Months go, I fix it back up, rent it out to another tenant, right? Rent it out to another tenant. First month, last month, security deposit. End up getting burnt again. At this time, y'all, I'm like, I quit real estate. I'm done. This ain't working for me. I get a call from my brother, Corey, like, yo, bro, I see you've been doing your thing with real estate. Him not knowing, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm not doing anything. Like, you have no clue that I'm not, like, I get a call, doo -doo -doo. yo, Neo, bro, what's up, man? I see you doing your thing in real estate. I wanted to see if we could partner on this property I got. You would fix it up. We will rent it out. We'll split the money. In my mind, I'm like, bro, I'm doing the worst I could ever think about in real estate. So what ended up happening, y'all, we ended up partnering up, right? First month, last month security, y'all. Everything was cool. We even got our first month rent, y'all. So I'm like, maybe this real estate thing is the thing. Fast forward, y'all. Next month, come by. Get burnt. I said, I really quit real estate, y'all. So then I quit real estate. Fast forward, if anybody from Philly, you may don't know, during this year, y'all, it was one of the highest murder rates. I believe the city of Philadelphia had about 365, 370 homicides, which you mean murders. 2022, y'all, we finished the year out in Philadelphia with over 500 murders. I'm pretty sure we're top five in the United States with mur most murders in a given city, right? So I had this brand called Peace in Philly. And for those who don't know, I was wearing this brand called Peace in Philly that I started. And I had everybody in there, mama, wearing the brand. Why? Because there were so many murders happening and everybody in the city wanted peace, period. So I found myself driving around selling anywhere from $100 worth of shirts a day to $1,000 every single day, riding around crazy for one full summer. Brand was going crazy. Murder capital will row crazy. So fast forward, y'all. I ended up, I ended up. Going crazy. I met this guy, Dom. He's like, yo, bro, you ever did something called a vending event? I'm like, a vending event? What's that? Mind you guys, somebody in the chat right, stay curious. Every time somebody tells me, I, every business that I have right now, for those who don't understand, I got the business from someone telling me about, you should try it. Every time somebody tell me something there and it's successful, I try it, right? Some work, some don't. But he said, you should vend. I'm like, what's that? It's where we basically set up at these events, you sell gear. I'm like, all right, cool, let's try it. Fast forward, y'all. I went to all of these events to start selling gear. First event, I made $1,000 selling these shirts. I'm like, yo, I don't got to ride around. I don't got to ship nothing. I'm all in. So I kept doing an event week after week after week, making a bunch of money. And I'm like, yo, that's successful. Somebody said, yo, bro, maybe you should have your own event. I'm like, what do you need to have an event? Well, you got to get vendors. You got to get wine or liquor. You got to get a, a band. You got to get a DJ. Like, you got to make it to works. So mind you, I've been studying all of these people. One of my guys who was doing events was Karan and Shahid Rucker, right? They was the biggest dudes in the city doing events. So I, I took their blueprint, did my own event. My first event was a success. And then I did my next event, success. And the next event was success. And what I started to realize is that I was running this place called Manny Young Brewery, and I realized that I've never met the owner. And I want everybody to take a moment to write this down. The only the person who makes the most money in this game is the owner of the building, right? Whether it's you, whether it's the, the person who makes the most money in the game is the person running you the building. Why? Because they don't got to worry about if people come. They're still getting paid. They don't got to worry about your event planning. If, if no one shows up, they're getting paid. So every time I use their event, we were renting this event out anywhere from 1000 to 2000 and we had to do a $1,000 bar minimum. So we was on the hook for two to 3000 every single event before a person walked in the door. So mind you, y'all, I wasn't really making any money having these events because I had to give the venue so much of my money, but I was building my brand. So I spent all of this time building my brand, people getting to know me, me having all these dope events, and it was a great time. But I still kept the realizing that I wasn't making money. So fast forward, for those who don't know, I got a nonprofit. I got a nonprofit called the Nehemiah Davis Foundation. Now, I don't know if Andrew updated my slides, but just today, if you guys watch me on Instagram, I called five different family members today, 
and we surprised them. We paid their mortgages. So today we we literally sent out probably about $9,500 just paying people mortgages today. So I got this nonprofit called the Nehemiah Davis Foundation where we provide for the city of Philadelphia and people around the world. We, we do a lot of things in silent, right? For those who know Saw, Country Cooking, we went for Christmas. We donated $20,000 and we bought $20,000 worth of toys, right? Just last week with her, we, we pay a bunch more people rent, right? Why am I telling y'all this? Because I feel like the, the more you give, the more you receive, but you need to find a way to give back. But I'm telling you guys this for a reason. So for those who don't know, I got a foundation. Every March, we take hundreds of kids skiing fully paid for, right? Every August, we 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 give a thousand kids book bags, fully stuff, clowns, characters, everything. Every Thanksgiving, y'all, we do this event called the the Thanksgiving from Heaven, where we bust in hundreds of homeless people, provide them with warm meals, haircuts, coats. We give everything we got. Now, Christmas, this is where it gets good. And this is where you guys are gonna learn why I got in the game. Christmas came up, y'all. I couldn't use Manion Brewery because the idea was we had to give hundreds of kids toys. And we couldn't pay this venue if we needed to do a fundraiser. So what happened was, y'all, we, we, we found a smaller venue because I said, yo, what if I could get everybody at this venue to give me $100, excuse me, $20 to get in and one to three toys? So we found this small gallery in West Philadelphia. We stuffed hundreds of people in there. We raised thousands of dollars. This was on December 23rd that year, right? Because every year before Christmas, day before we do our event, we stuffed all of these kids in there. I mean, excuse me, all of these toys made all of this money. And we were able to have a successful event. We gave 100 kids bikes, hundreds of kids got toys, Santa Claus, the whole works. Now, here's where it got good at. January 1st, January 2nd came. I start getting all of these freaking phone calls. I'm talking about all of these calls. And here's some of the events that you guys will see that we did. We got all these different events. I was getting all of these phone calls. And one of the phone calls that I got was like, hey, bro, I was just at your event at the gallery. It was dope. I wanted to see if. Oh, here we go, y'all. Here's the screenshots from today. I'm not sure why it's there. So here's the screenshot from today that we sent to two people. Tiffany, we sent her $2,300. Uh, the, the, the Dana, we sent her $2,020 for her rent or her mortgage. This is just today, right? So more of the story, y'all. I start getting all these phone calls. Yo, Neil, I was at your event space the other day. It was dope. Wanted to see if I could use them. I'm like, sorry, it ain't my event. Another call. What up, Neil? Wanted to see if I could use your event for Argyle. Sorry, fam, not my event. Yo, Neil, wanted to see if I could use your event for a uh, book signer. Sorry, not my event. Hey, Neil, man, so I was at your event, man, an awesome time. People was telling me um, it's something I could book out. I wanted to see if I could use it. I'm like, hold on for a second. Mind you, I didn't know the gentleman that much that just rented me his spot, but I picked up the phone. And I said, hey, I got the guy, I got someone on the other line that's interested in booking the venue. Is it available? He said, send them down for open house. So for the next week straight, I start doing that with every call that I got. His open house was Wednesday and Friday from 5 to 8. Every call I got, I start doing that. So for the next year, y'all, I learned how to run an entire event space business. I learned when to have the events, when not to have events, how to do open house. I learned the whole works from just me having this initial event. Now, somebody's like, Neil, you helped build this Instagram up to 10,000 people. You probably got them 20, 30,000 in bookings. You ever thought about having your own event space? Remember, y'all, what do I tell y'all to do? If somebody's successful, tell me to do something at work. What do I do? I do it. So I'm like, all right, well, Neil, I forgot I still got the rental property. Let me do a cost analysis. Let me do a cost comparison on which one of these things I should do. So I said, okay, I got event space and I got I got rental property. I got event space. Which one of these should I do? Rental property, um, I only could put one tenant in there. That gives me $750 a month. Event space, I can have 10 events. Every single month, get $700 per event, make $7,000 a month. Uh, rental property, if the lady do not pay me, she's not going to get out for 90 days because of the court process. Event space, if the person don't pay within two weeks, they don't have their event, right? Next, rental property. Well, I can't kick them out. It's going to take 90 days. Event space, yo, they don't get access to a key. It's a commercial building, right? They're out in six hours. I make my $700 per spot. Rental property, well, I got all of these bills, electric, gas, water. Okay, event space, the same exact bills that you pay at your home is the same exact bills you pay for your event space plus a million-dollar insurance policy, which is under $100 a month. Events, uh, rental property, can I go ahead and have this lady add another tenant so I could try to get more money from the building? No. Event space, can I do 20 events instead of 10? Yes. Let me ask y'all, what decision would y'all have made? 
So y'all, in that very moment, I decided on a event space, y'all. And y'all, here's where we get into the steps, man. It's time to get ready. So let's get to it. This is the reason why. And y'all let me know if I should cut that out of the... Let me know if y'all think that's necessary or not. Because I was going to cut it out, right? Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I know it takes like 10 to 12 minutes. So I don't want people to be like, oh, it's fluff. No, I just really want y'all to know. Like, I stumbled upon a multi-billion dollar industry, and I, and I just want you to get your six-figure cut. I want you to get your seven-figure cut out of it. And this is one of the best forms of real estate that no one is talking about that got me financially free, that retired my mind, that got my... Let me be very clear. Courses didn't get me financially free. Me selling you information didn't get me... Fi I didn't start selling an event space program till two years or two and a half years after I had my spaces, Right? I, I, I was able to become financially free because I found a vehicle that pays me $700 to $1,000 for you using it four to six hours. It's up. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it, y'all. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's run through it. How to find your event space, y'all. This is where I need you guys to be ready to take copious notes. We are about to move, and we are about to move fast. Let me go ahead and take me a drink of water. So let me let y'all guys know, as I go in and get into this, I need you guys to take copious notes. This is the exact information that I shared during the pandemic to Tanisha, who now has a mate, crossed a million dollars in her business with her three event spaces. This is the same exact information I shared with Dom, who now got three event spaces in Detroit. This is the same information I shared with Cash that got an event space in Philly and now just opened up a daycare using a strategy in King of Prussia. This is the same information I shared with Mark and Rashira, who's over there in Sheltonham, and they just opened up two spaces, right? They just opened up their second space. This is the same information I shared with Kevin over there, and I believe Missouri just opened up his second space, right? This is the same information I shared with Christine in California, who just opened up her first space uh, and going crazy. So I need commitment. Somebody say, I'm ready to go crazy with this information. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, number one, step number one, how to find a space. First thing, everybody quickly go ahead and write this down. One of the things that we're doing when we're looking for a space is we're looking for high traffic areas. And one of the reasons why we're looking for high traffic areas, people, is because we're looking for areas that we already have access to people, which help us to reduce our marketing spend. So you want to find locations that are highly trafficked, highly, highly um, visited. So for me, one of my spaces is on Lancaster Avenue. You have in a given week probably 100,000 plus cars that ride through Lancaster, Lancaster Avenue in a week. The other spot is on Ridge Avenue. In a given week, you got 100,000 plus cars that ride through this particular block. And every single week, we can average one one to five bookings per month just from people who said they roll by your space. Does that have nothing to do with Google? This is just somebody driving by and they analyzing and seeing that your space is there. This is why the sign is important. This is why the curb appeal is important, right? Next thing, when we talk about finding your space, here's another thing. You want to look at commercial corridors, right? You want to look at shopping centers. You do want to look in warehouse districts. The only problem with looking at a warehouse, this is when you really need us, is you have to understand if you're looking in a warehouse... Right. Let me one second, guys. We have to understand. So we got to understand when we're looking at warehouses that you have to become a better marketer because no one knows you're inside of the building, right? So I want y'all to make sure you're taking copious notes and understand it. Next thing, everybody write this down. You want to find an area that is on the cusp, right? C-U-S-P, which means you want to find an event space that is slightly gentrified. And the reason why you want to look for something that's possibly slightly gentrified is because you want to get it before the price is just before you're either being priced out or it doesn't make financial sense. And let me give you guys a prime example of something you need to avoid. So I live I, I live in Atlanta now, but I'm from Philadelphia, right? So we are one of the largest cities in the United States, right? So for us, that means your downtown area is normally one of your most expensive locations. We don't live in a small town like 
let's just say a, a Kansas, Missouri or something, right? So our downtown is normally a popular area, right? Which means when you go downtown to acquire a building that's astronomical or for you to lease or rent a building that's astronomical, right? So I had people that have clothing, clothing stores downtown, they spend $7,500 a month on less than a thousand square feet. And guess what? They're they gotta re like like they gotta pretty much find new tenants every single year because no one can actually afford it. So when you are starting out, you don't want to price yourself out from the beginning by going somewhere that doesn't make financial sense. Another thing, when you're looking for your venue, you want to find a space that actually has adequate parking or makes sense, unless it's going to be a place where people are going to be Ubering to, right? So those are other things you want to keep in note, right? Now, when we talk about finding something on a custom, let me go ahead and give you guys a prime example of what I mean so you understand what I'm saying. So if you guys look to the right, that is my smaller space. That's my foundation, right? When you walk out of that space, you make a right-hand turn. You walk for approximately one minute and 30 seconds. You're at Presbyterian Hospital. You knock, walk another minute, you're at Drexel University. You walk another minute, you're at University of Penn, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, top 10 university. You hop in your car, you drive five minutes, you're downtown. So what does this mean? It's two things. One, everybody in that neighborhood, if they do need to use a venue, they feel confident and comfortable coming to us because we're right on the borderline, right? Now, you walk out of our venue. Right. And everybody write this down. Marketing. Right. When you guys get into the market, one of the things you want to use and leverage is EDDM. And this is something that most people are doing are not using, which stands for every door direct mail. You able to target specific zip codes and businesses that you want to get your mail where only they will see them. That's another little strategy that we break down. But I wanted to just give you all that as a little bonus. But anyway, let's keep moving. So. When you guys are, when we walk out to the left at the foundation, you go ahead and walk down. You literally walk down less than one minute. You're at a police district. You walk another 10 seconds. You got a donut shop. You got a Chinese store. You got somebody outside selling weed. Like you, you literally right in the trenches. I'm talking about in 30 seconds. I'm talking about fast. Now, but guess what? Now all of them individuals, down, all of them people are booking our event because we became the neighborhood venue. So what I like to do is I like to find an area directly right in the middle. Now, let me go ahead and help a lot of you out here who, who probably like, yo, Neil, can I, you, can I rent in the ghetto? Guys, you can absolutely rent in the ghetto. And I want y'all to take a moment to write this down. The only person you have to convince to use your venue is the person who's booking it from you. I'm going to say it one more time. The only person you must convince to use your venue is the person booking it from you. Right. So what does this mean? Some of y'all don't know what this means. What this means is very simple. A lot of you be like, well, I'm wondering if if I get this venue in this neighborhood, I'm wondering if I get this venue over here. I'm wondering if I get this venue over here. Will they be able to use our venue? Will, will people come? And the thing that you got to understand is you don't have to convince their party of 100 people to book the venue. You only got to get your sales pitch together, your marketing together to convince everybody you're on the phone or walk through your door to understand you are the venue that they need to book with because any of your friends and family members, if you say you're getting married and y'all let me know in the chat, if you say you're getting married an hour away, are your people coming? If you say you got to go to the ghetto to have your wedding, right? Are your people coming? Like I have never had, I've never been invited somewhere and I looked up and I'm like, I wonder where this is at. Whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, I just say I'll be there. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So with that being said, is you want to go ahead and only got to worry about convincing the person. Now, let me go ahead and keep going because a lot of you have been worrying about, a lot of you have been worrying. Somebody just said, yo, I'm worrying about the capital. How many people been here the whole time like, Neil, all of this sounds great, but I don't know where I'm going to get the money from. I don't know how I'm going to buy a building. I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. Y'all probably been here wondering the whole time like, bro, this sounds phenomenal, but how? And here's where my little secret comes in. That here's the thing that over 400 people been able to do. Guess what we do, y'all? We lease the building. Uh-oh. I don't know if y'all heard it. I don't know if you heard it. The strategy that I figured out that no one knows is we lease the building. So now we show you how to 
Find the building and then you lease the building. So now, guess what? Write it down. You were in about first month, last month, security deposit. And whatever permits that we break down that you may need, right? And if you need renovations, right? But those are the things you were. Because a lot of people are like, yo, how am I going to come up with the funds? You don't have to. You can go ahead and leverage. For everybody to understand, somebody write down the word leverage. If you guys understand the waste, a lot of big businesses are going right now. Airbnb is the number one rental platform, and they don't own any houses. Uber is the number one car share program, they don't own any cars, right? Toro is the number one rental car place, and they don't own any cars. So the thing is, the reason why you're able to get in the game and start and be able to get a space literally in the next month, two months, three months, four months, five months, because you can go ahead and lease it, and some of these people you lease it to, they don't. neither of my spaces did they ask me for my credit. Now, I'm not telling you they're not going to do that, but that wasn't something. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because when, my, when, when I found my first building, I'm like, yo, this building is, he won $2 million for it. He basically owned the block. I'm like, yo, $2 million to get a commercial loan. I need 20% down. That's $400,000. And ain't no way I got that. And my credit score was bad at the time. So I, it was no way I was going to be able to acquire it. And I was able to lease it. And which made me make the deciding decision was my guy, Doug, I went to Doug. I'm like, yo, bro, I got an opportunity to go ahead and get this event space, but I know you are an advocate for ownership. I'm not going to own a building. But guess what? I did the math. And on the low end, if I rent this out on the low end, at the time it was $500 per rental. If I rent this thing out 500 times, if I rent this out for $500, Doug, 10 times in a month, Doug, that's $5,000 in a month. If I do it 20 times in a month, Doug, it's twenty. Excuse me, it's ten thousand dollars in a month, and that was that was my numbers at this time. Now, y'all, the way I teach you and train you, the lowest rental that you're doing is a thousand dollars per pop at the very lowest, eight hundred dollars. So now, guess what Doug said? He said, "Bro, believe it or not, Neil, and I need y'all to understand the math. And anybody here who does real estate, the average real estate investor makes." $200 to $300 a door if they're good profit, meaning the average real estate investor after everything, they're making about $100 per door. If they're extremely good, they're making $300 net profit per door. So in order for somebody to make $10,000 a month with rental properties and doors, right? Let's do the math. Let's do the math. $10,000 divided by... 300, they need 33 doors. Now let's go on it. Let's take it another step further. In order for you to acquire 33 doors, let's hypothetically say, let's hypothetically say you had a triplex 10 times. The average triplex cost is you, average triplex costs you 300,000 on a low end. 300,000 times 10 is $3 million. So I'm able to acquire a building, y'all. I put down to get this first month, last month security deposit, did some fixing that averaged me $10,000 a month profit that is outbeating most of my friends who are in real estate that own 10, 20, and 30 doors. Are y'all picking up this game? Are y'all understanding what I'm dropping on y'all right now? Right? When I get step two, I'm going to break down how to get the money, y'all. So that's 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 what we talk about with money. So no, again, write it down. You're looking for a commercial space. One of the sites you can look on is acrexy.com. You're looking for warehouse space. You're looking for commercial corridors. You're looking for uh you're looking for shopping centers, right? Right? You're you're looking for areas that are on the cuffs, right? You can look in the ghetto, yes. You're looking for areas that aren't too now. A lot of you like, yo, Neil, how close? You could choose 30 minutes to an hour from your house, but for those who are in our program, we show you how to now run and work these and set up the systems to run this from another city. Now, again, you're not going to be able to do it right away, but that's what we are now on. Whew. Let's keep going, y'all. Let's get ready to jump in step two. If y'all getting game right now, let me know in the chat. Let's keep going. Now, very quickly, everybody look at Courtney, y'all. Courtney's in Santa Monica. When we talk about how to fund it, check it out. You see how I look? She's following my model. Open space. She got the beige floors. Open space white, right? We got bling venue. Luxury vinyl. She went light gray. She do white. Open space like we teach, right? Right? We got the, the alchemy in North, Mooresville, North Carolina. Very simple. Exposed brick, which makes it indestructible. Next, everybody quickly say, everybody say congratulations 
two, we got Shanika, y'all. Shanika and D, they're actually in my mastermind. We just came back from Dubai together. They said, hey, y'all, just wanted to share this awesomeness. My husband, Demetrius, and I were featured in Shout Out Atlanta Magazine, and an article went live today. The magazine highlights new entrepreneurs and small businesses in the metro area. Um, check us out. Major shout out to Neo. Y'all, so what's so dope was they spent eight days with me in Dubai making bread. Next, everybody check it out. Candace, everybody say congratulations, Candace. She's running a small mini event space as well. Our first event is underway. I can count one million things that I got wrong, but the guests gasped with pleasure when they entered the door of my small space. Somebody say, let's go, girl. Somebody say, let's go, girl. Next, let's go ahead and check this out with my girl Shonda said. She said, hey, fam, so I did a thing last Thursday, and I want this for y'all. She said, I separated from my nine to five. Just thought I'd let y'all know since we family. I'm so excited that I don't know how to act. P.S. We're currently hitting over $16,000 so far a month. 20K months, here we come. Mm, somebody say that's me. Somebody say it's my time coming. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Next, everybody say again, congratulations to Yankee, Y'all, that's her second space that she's getting. Um, I'm so excited for her. Next, everybody say, Kelsey say it's complete. The Dynasty Suite, thanks to Neo and the ESS family. Oh, man, I didn't know y'all added all of this. What's up, ESS fam? This is my guy, Salik. Me and my wife finished reading. Da, da, da. We took action. And one of them posted our space. In less than 24 hours, we got 30 new followers, five emails, three DMs, two calls, and two bookings. That's my uh, that's my IG hack. All right, cool. Let's get into it. How to fund your event space, y'all. Let's get ready to write it down. Everybody take a moment. Write these things down. If you guys getting game, let me know, but take a minute to write it down. We got OPM, OPR, OPC, OPT, and the power of leverage. We're going to say it again. OPM, OPR, OPC, and OPT, and the power of leverage. For those of like, yo, Neil, what do you mean by this? Y'all, the biggest mistake that we made in our life, and I'm speaking for me, let me know if you guys agree, is that we tried to figure everything out on our own. The biggest mistake that we made in life, we tried to do it by ourselves. The biggest mistake we made in life, we shared our big goals with small-minded people. The biggest make mistake that we made in our life, we haven't properly leveraged our credit. The biggest mistake that we made in life is that we haven't took the money that we made on our job to invest in our dreams. Let me know if I'm, this was me for a long time. Let me know if I'm by myself right now, right? <laughs> Somebody said, listen to the negative voice in your house. So take a moment and write it down. OPM, that stands for other people's mentors. That stands for other people's money, right? Next, OPR, that stands for other people's resources, right? Uh, OPC, other people's connections. OPT, other people's time, right? Next is leverage. Y'all, leverage. Everybody need to figure out how can I leverage something, my money, my time, someone else's time. The reason why leverage is one of the most important and critical things, y'all, is because leverage is like a door. If you guys look at your door right now, it's being held up but two to three hinges that allows this door to have such a swing, right? So the reason why leverage is important in 2023, you got to learn how to leverage people to help you to get to where you got to go. You got to learn how to like right now, how many people just from being on here so far, you learn things you haven't learned. That's called other people's resources, meaning you took some time out of your day to hop on here and you're learning from me things that you simply didn't know before you got here. Right? Right? Of course. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I sound like my guy, Wallow. Me, 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 million dollars worth of game. So cool. Let's get into it. Now, let's go on and get to it. Next, everybody, I talked about it earlier. Again, I'm going to say it one more time. This is your year. You're leveraging your friends. You're leveraging your family. You're leveraging your credit. You're leveraging your time. You have to figure out how do I make the most of every day, every minute, and every dollar that I have. I tell people all the time, every dollar that is not moving is a dollar that is losing. If you are making money from your job, it's sitting in your bank account, and it's not growing, you are losing time. And you're being, it's being ate by inflation. If you are not online every single day consuming content that can make you money, make you better, you are wasting your day. If you're not leveraging mentorship, you are wasting like days where you could like one of the things that my mentor says, he says, the quicker you get to your dream life, the longer you get to enjoy it, which means the more that you take action and leverage, the longer you're able to do more of the things you want to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we talked about it. I want everybody to take a moment to write it down. This is my pre-marketing matrix. So earlier on, you guys will understand what I did earlier. 
I literally sat down and I broke down what is the name of your space? What is your space? What does your space look like, right? Why am I telling you this? The biggest mistake that most business owners have is lack of marketing. I'm going to say it one more time. The biggest mistake that most business owners have is the lack of marketing. Neil, what do you mean by this specifically? This means that a lot of you right here, you got all different businesses right now. You are extremely good at what you do, but no one knows what you do. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. You are extremely good at what you do, but no one knows what you do. This, everybody say that ends here today. So one of the things that I want you to start doing right now in 2023, you are now telling your mom, your dad, your family, your friends, your cousin, cousins, I want you to start thinking about everybody you know, let them know, hey, I'm in the process of opening my event space called this in this city. I would love to be able to do future business with you. Could you let any and everybody you know who may be interested in events? It doesn't matter. You may don't get your event space for a month, right? Some of you going to get it in a month. Some of you might get one in three weeks. Some of you going to get it in two months. Some of you may take a year. Some may take two years. Some may take four months. Some take, may take, take five months. I don't know when you're going to get it, but you're going to get it. Remember, one of my favorite books is by Stephen Covey. It's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He talked about beginning with the end in mind. And one of my favorite quotes is you got to see it before you see it so you can seize it. And what that simply means is you need to start telling everybody you know now you are in the process. So now guess what happened? When they start thinking about future events, they're thinking about you. So start writing a list of everybody you know who got something coming up, a baby shower coming up, a book signing coming up, a seminar coming up. Write it down right now. A baby shower coming up, a seminar coming up, a workshop coming up, a repast coming up, a bridal shower coming up, right? A dinner coming up. And you want to let them know you would love to be able to host their event in the future. Mind you, their event may not be for a month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, but you want to be the first person on mine. You want to go get shirts made. You want to go get cars made. You don't have the address yet, but you want to start marketing. Next, when we talk about the pre-marketing matrix, later on today, you want to go in and secure the Instagram name, the TikTok name, the, the Twitter name, the Facebook name. You want to start securing all your digital assets now. So once you got the space, it's already ready to go. All you got to do is do a plug and play, upload all the pictures. Let me know if y'all picking up this game. I'm dropping on y'all right now. Comment yes. Comment yes if y'all enjoying the strategies. Next, let's keep going. Everybody write this website down. Meetup.com, TicketLeap.com, Eventbrite.com. You want to go on each of these websites right now type in your zip code, and you want to go ahead and find all the events coming up in your area. Baby showers coming up. Book signings coming up. Seminars coming up. I don't care what they are. And you want to literally create a, a Google Excel spreadsheet, put their name, their number, and their email in it. And this is going to be your database of people who recently had events. And you want to go ahead and email them and say, you would love to host their next event 20% off. You would love to host their next event for 30% off. You would love to be able to help them. Guess what? They're going to repeat that in mind and think about the next event. They're going to be like, oh, man, man. So now every single week, you're just adding more on your list. So when you finally get the event space, text blast to them customers, email blast to them customers. You call them customers. Another thing, uh, I shouldn't give y'all this, but I'm going to help y'all. Another thing, I would start finding people that are having monthly events now at other people's venue and figure out building a relationship with them so you can move them from their venue to your venue. So now what we're doing, we're literally building up our name prior to us getting our space. So now when we get our space, it's on and popping. Next thing with the pre-marketing matrix, you now want to start finding other event planners and other event owners in your area and start building relationships because what if you don't get the space in a month? What if you don't get in two months and you start getting all of these calls? You now are sending the calls their way and you're getting 10 to 20% of those bookings. Or you're sending their calls their way just to show them love and now they're going to go ahead and get that back to you once you up and running. Why? It's called the law of reciprocity. What you want for others ultimately come back to you. So now guess what? Why are you building out your space? Here's where most people make the mistake at. Here's what most people make the mistake at. They go build out their space. Like they go start all of this stuff after they get their space. Now it needs to take another three to four months to develop. I just showed you guys how to pre-market your space and get that thing up and popping before we even have anything going on. 
Are y'all, I don't know, are y'all get? are y'all getting what I'm talking about right? And y'all, this is the pre-marketing matrix. Like when y'all getting a, pro how many people just excited to know you getting in my program tonight? Like when I talk, when you get in and see all the ways we show, 50 to 100 ways to fill up your doors, to get overbooked. I mean, I need y'all to understand, somebody in the chat, right? This is my year I go from overlooked to overbooked. This is my year I go from overlooked to overbooked. Next, let's keep going. So we talked about the pre-marketing matrix, right? So we talked about the pre-marketing matrix. Everybody quickly take the minute, write these things down, because I need y'all to understand what are we looking for? Everybody write down what type of events are we looking for? Baby showers, book signings. Seminars, repasses, daycare uh, proms, prom send-offs, trunk parties, weddings, bridal showers, movie screenings, art shows, right? Those are just to name a few. And I want y'all to write them down. I'm going to say some again. And y'all can add a lot more in the chat. Baby showers, book signings, seminars, repasses, art shows, right? Prom send-offs. Trunk parties, uh, uh, movie screenings, right? Fight parties, right? And the list goes on and on and on and on. So now you want to really ask yourself, everybody write this down. Where are these people hanging at? Who are my customers? Are they in private Facebook groups? Where do these ladies hang out? You need to start letting everybody know you exist. One of the things my guy Runway say, used to say, he said, your grind needs to be annoying. Like, y'all, I'm going to be all the way real. I don't know if any of y'all know me before, know me, right? But you probably get an email from me every day. You probably get a text from me every day. But the reason why you're here right now is why? Because I'm making sure you know I exist. Why? Because I have something that is going to help you. I understand this information will help you become financially free like it did me. So when you have something good, everybody understand is when you have something good, you need to be obligated to help people get there. So I need you guys to literally take, take a point to be like, yo, I need to market myself as much as I can as I'm the event space person. I'm the event planner person. I'm that person who opened this venue. So now everybody is sending you as much work as possible. Now let's keep moving on. Everybody take a moment, right? Everybody take a moment, right? Let's get to it. Next. Now, let's go ahead and do the event space math. Let's go ahead and do the event space math very quickly. Are y'all getting the game right now? Let me know in the chat real quick. Flame the chat right now. If y'all, I need all, it's over a thousand and something people here. I need the chat to go crazy with yeses and flames if y'all getting game right now. I need the chat to go ridiculous with yeses and flames if y'all getting game right now. Awesome, awesome, cool. Well, look, let's keep rumbling. Let's keep going. All right, so now that we got that, y'all. So next, everybody quickly, take a moment, write it down. Everybody quickly write it down. Our number one goal is we want to do five events in the weekend. Everybody write it down. And I'm going to give you high numbers. I'm going to give you low numbers. You guys could do the math and decide where you want to hang out at. And this is based on the 1,000-square-foot venue, the average, right? Everybody take a moment, write it down. Five events a week and write it down. You got one event on Friday. You got two events on Saturday. You got two events on two events on Sunday. I also want you guys to note and write this down as I break this down. Everybody, this does not include contracts. I, it's the secret hack that I'm going to teach you, y'all, where we show you how to go ahead and get one or two people to pay your overhead so you don't even have to worry about it and everything else becomes profit. Program it's too oh just them alone like those, that's our bread and butter that we teach y'all and y'all gonna love this play but anyway go ahead and take a moment write this down we got this does not include your monthly events this does not include your contract events this does not include your holiday events this does not include your special events this does not include your weekday events this does not include if you're running a co-working play this does not include our, our our political play that we break down to you right this does not include our middleman plays that we teach you. Right? Ooh, that's different. Anyway, they don't include any of that. These are just you running a basic event Monday, I mean, five days a week. And let's go ahead and do the math. Average event is $1,000. 
Average event, 1,000. We got one on Friday. We got two on Saturday. We got two on Saturday in the morning, right? Start in the morning. Then we got one Saturday night in the evening. We got Sunday in the morning. We got Sunday in the evening. That's five events, so $1,000 each. Let's do the math. If we do $1,000 per event and we run that all weekend, how, how much money do we have? $5,000. If we do that for one month, how much money do we have? $20,000. If we do $5,000 a week times $5,000 a week times 52 weeks, we got $260,000. Now, some of you here like, Neil, I still don't believe that. And no, that's gross. Some of you still here right now like, Neil, I don't even believe it's possible. Okay, let's go ahead and dumb it down. Let's go ahead and narrow it down. Let's just do three events a weekend. How many people believe just the pre-marketing matrix, if you do that right, layer one, it could get you three events in a weekend? One on Friday. One Because let me make it believable for them. I like, Neil, five is aggressive. Okay, let's do three. One on Friday. One on Saturday. One on Sunday. All right, we got that. Average event, $1,000 per event. Do the math. That's $3,000 in the weekend. How much is that a month? It's $12,000 in a month. How much is a year? It's $144,000 for the year. Now, for those who are here, let's go ahead and write and note what are event space expenses. A lot of people want to know, what are the expenses? Write them down. Electric bill, gas bill, water bill, Wi-Fi bill. Insurance bill, million dollar insurance policy, normally a hundred thousand, excuse me, a hundred dollars or less a month, right? Cleaning supplies, right? I show you how to get your virtual assistant for free, and I show you how to get your your main employee for free with a strategy that I show you. But those are your main overhead expenses. You can do the math on that. The same exact bills are in your household, and then you go ahead and put a small amount on the side for maintenance. And let me let y'all know in maintenance, I have not in the last five years. Out of both spaces, I have not spent over $20,000 on maintenance. Total. Meaning, generally, your biggest maintenance is every quarter you got to paint the wall from people putting their butt on the wall, right? Every, every now and again, they clog up your toilet. The reason why the maintenance is minimum because they're out of your event in four to six hours and we're making the event as much as we can to be indestructible with the walls a certain way where they're wipeable, the floors a certain way, right? And they're in and out of our events. So what type of damage can you do in that short period of time, right? Baby scuff your floors. You get them done every few months. You get the maybe reglaze or something like that. Right. So I need you all to understand the reason why is minimum wear and tear because they in and out of your event. If you're doing five hour events, we talking about 20. We talking about six hours per event. We talking about 30 hours in a week of somebody being inside of your building. Next, let's keep running. Next thing, let's keep going. Next, everybody write it down. Event space math versus job math. I'm not, I don't got to know what your numbers is, but my last job, this is what most people do not calculate when it comes to work. My last job that worked, my last job that worked 40 hours a week. I worked an hour going to work. Excuse me. I spent an hour. This is what no one calculate in this uh, calculation. I spent an hour going to work. I spent an hour coming home for work. I spent an hour preparing for work. I spent 55 hours a week, 220 hours a month. At best, my checks were $1,500 a month after taxes. Remember, I told you the importance of making your money work for you so you don't have to work for it. So I worked at the private airport. I made $1,500 a month after taxes. I gave them everything that I had. Now, how many events do I need to do right now to, to replace my job income? On the low end, $700 event, what, two events? $500 event, what, three events? Let them go ahead and take a package. Let them take a package. One event. Next, let me give you a little bonus, another little way to fund your event. Let me give you a little another bonus. You hold one monthly event on your own. So imagine on a month you held your own pop-up shop, right? Ooh, I shouldn't even get this deep. I'm going to give Ah, 
Imagine you held your own pop-up shop. You got 10 vendors. You had all your vendors give you $100 to $200 per vendor, and this is a monthly event that they can expect. You charge every, you do 10 tables, you charge everybody $100, you got $1,000. You do 10 tables, you charge everybody $200 to set up, they got $200. And they got to be responsible in the contract for the marketing and bringing their own customers in. Now we just found another way to snip off our overhead and what it costs us to operate the venue. Anyway, so that's the job math versus event math. Everybody take a moment to write down. How much money do you need to make? And I don't got to share it in the chat. How much money do I need to make to replace my job income? Somebody say leverage. The money that you got sitting right now can be used to acquire you event space so you could get in the game. Next, let's keep moving. Next, everybody talk about it. Let's get into the credit, the ultimate leverage play. Credit, the ultimate leverage play. Let me know if you, chat go crazy if y'all getting gems right now. Credit, the ultimate leverage play. Yo, how many people, t hey, drop my Instagram. How many people already tagged me? Also, a, a, a team, somebody select somebody also at the end. Uh, somebody who tagged me in their notes, they're going to get $200. I want to get somebody 200 bucks. We giving away cash today. I love it here. Michelle, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, sis. Let's go. Anyway, y'all credit the ultimate leverage play. Everybody understand this. Your family has told you the myth that credit is bad. Don't use credit. I don't know about y'all, but I'm from the black community, right? Do y'all know when we learn about credit? Anybody here like me, do y'all know when the black African-American learn about credit? After we already messed it up. Our education of credit is after we already ruined the crap. So now what we got to do, we got to spend years trying to get our credit. I spent five, six years trying to get my credit back in order after I already ruined it. Why? Everybody write it down. There's a difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is debt that you can get in that's going to produce you revenue, right? So right now, we have the contract to buy a building, right? The building costs several million dollars. I'm not using all of my money. I'm getting a loan. Why? That loan is going to put me in debt, but that building is going to produce me anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000 a month, Fifty grand of that being profit per month. So I'm going to go on millions in debt to acquire an asset that's going to produce me $50,000 plus positive cash flow passively every single month, right? Bad debt is when I used to go buy Rock Republics, True Religion Jeans, and I had no money in my bank account. I was spending my last on fighting on materials that didn't make me any money. That Bad debt is when I go blow some money on, on something that doesn't allow me allow me to grow. So the first thing that we have to learn as a culture, the difference between good debt and bad debt. And it's okay to get into good debt because good debt allows you to make money. So right now, if you guys know, uh, I said this on my last workshop and I, I want to see if this pulls up. I want you guys to see it in real time. So let's see if it pulls up. Let me put my password in. Y'all really need to get this set up where I could share my screen. Y'all could see it, but I want to show y'all this. So, oh, this is actually good right now. It's actually, I'm not in, it's not too bad. But anyway, if you guys could see it. Let me know if y'all can see it. So these are my American Express credit cards. So one of my Simply Cash cards is $52,000 that I owe. My American Express Platinum card, I owe $131,000. My American Express Gold card, I owe $110,000. My Blue Business Cash, I owe $17,000. So this is what I spend in the last 30 days on credit. So that's $130 plus $50. That's $180,000. Uh, the Gold card is $110,000. So wait, we got $130 and $110. That's $240 plus $50. That's... Two for two ninety plus seventeen. So I spent three hundred and seven thousand dollars. Now to the average person is a lot of money, right? Like, oh, it's a lot.
But guess what I did with the 307000 I took that money to spend money on ads. I took that money to prepay expenses for this year, right? I took that money to, uh, to, to run advertising. I took that money to pay influencers. I took that money, and guess what? I took all and used American Express's money. Now, this month, I'll make all of that money back plus more. So I'm going to take all of the money that I make plus more. I pay the debt off. I'm in $315,000 in debt, right? Good debt. I pay off the whole $315,000 leveraging the money that I made, but I use the credit card's money to help me make the money. So instead of going into the bank account paying $300,000 cash, I go use their money. And now that I use their money, I pay it back. And now I never even, now it's like I never use any of my own money. Let me know if y'all understand what I'm saying. So I need y'all to understand, y'all start figuring out how can I leverage credit, right, to, 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 to turn it into cash. So let me go ahead and give you guys a few leverage plays that you guys can use that I can help you guys out. But the biggest mistake that I see with so many entrepreneurs is you always focus on what it costs versus focusing on how much it's going to cost you if you don't do it. Like when people get in my program, some of y'all focus is going to be like, yo, I don't know if I should hire a virtual assistant. It's going to cost me. How much is it going to cost you if you don't have them, if they can work 50 hours a week while you're working your job and you could be getting all of these things done? You're paying them an awesome wage, right? They're happy and you're ultimately winning. So one of the biggest mistakes I got to get through our people head is learn about leverage, leverage Money, leverage your job. A lot of you have been working your job for years and not taking that money to make money. It's crazy. Your money should be like a soldier's, right? Everybody read the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. He talks about making your money a soldier. Your money is like an employee. It should always be working for you during your shifts. So I need you guys, as we get, old, get through things, you got to understand leverage. You got to understand, how do I make my money make more money? So let me go ahead and give you guys a few credit cards that you can apply for. And one of the things I recommend, everybody write it down, it's OPM, other people's money. And one of the ways to leverage other people's money, and again, y'all, it's not financial advice. Use it at your own. Uh, I need to start doing the disclaimer because I don't want, make sure you guys use what you need to use, right? But one of the cards that we recommend is floor and decor, Right. And I want you guys to go to a website. It's called bankrate.com. When you go to bankrate.com, it literally tells you all the zero percent interest credit cards you can use where you're able to use their money for 12 to 18 months or three to six months. It's something called a teaser rate. Write that down. They give you a rate to initially use their card for a certain period of time using zero percent interest, which means I got access to use your cash for a certain period of time for free. While I take that time to make money. So one of the cars we recommend is 0% interest is floor and decor, right? So what that allows you to do is it allows you to go ahead and start buying floor or start buying certain things and not have to pay it back for 12 to 18 months. And all you got to do is have an LLC and I'll talk to you guys about it in a second. Another card that you want to get that doesn't require a social security or anything is Office Depot corporate card. Another card that based on your money that you have in your business bank account is a Divi card, right? Another card that's based on the money in your bank account is a Stripe card charge card, right? So those are a few. Next, everybody write this down. Another card I recommend everybody get, if you already got an LLC and a fair credit score, they give you this card. It's called American Express Simply Cash Card. And it's a blue card with they pretty much approve you right away. And here's the cool thing. When you get approved for American Express, everybody write it down. You are allowed to go ahead and apply for every American Express card they got. And they only hit you with one increase. So you now could go get American Express Simply Cash. You can now get American Express Blue Car. You can now get American Express Plum, Plum Car. You now can get the Amex Platinum Car. You now can get the Business Gold Car. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down right now? So now I took my time and leveraged all these. Now let me go ahead and let you guys notice. Once you get approved for certain cards, you now want to go ahead and call that credit card and ask, hey, can I speak to the credit? Can I speak to your reconsideration department? And when you go ahead and talk on the reconsideration department, you want to be like, hey, I wanted to know. And you make a talk to the regular customer service. And if they can't help you, ask for the reconsideration department. Like, hey, um, I'm interested in making you my card of choice. I wanted to see. Would you be willing to increase my credit score? Excuse me, not my credit score. I wanted to know, would you be willing 
I wanted to know, would you be willing? I want to make you my author, my, my, my number one card. I wanted to know, would you be willing to increase my limit that you just gave me? As soon as you get a limit, you ask for immediate limit increase. It's not another inquiry. And you ask them, would this be another inquiry for a meet? And you want to do it within 24 hours. And you want to do this to every car. So now if you do this with every car, you now are possibly getting all your limits increased. And they want to do it because you're like, yo, I want to make this my card of choice. Next, you want to find bank-friendly banks that will help you out. One of the banks I recommend is Truist. Another bank that I recommend is Key Bank. And what Key Bank, guys, is they got about 13 different states that they operate in, maybe more right now, and they do something called a no-doc loan. And what a no-doc loan is, they give you a loan or credit based on what you say your business has made, normally 10% or what it is, but they're not necessarily verifying the things that you're putting on the paper. But I'm not telling you don't be honest. But it's something called a no doc loan. They give you up to fifty thousand dollars. So when I walked in the key bank, I walked out with seventy thousand dollars in credit. I think they gave me forty or forty five thousand on the bank loan, and they gave me two different credit cards, right? Which allowed me to be able to get up to seventy thousand dollars in credit from that one card. Now let's not talk about if you got more than one LLC. If you got more than one LLC, you run the same play that you're running on one LLC on all the LLCs. Uh-oh, I might be going a little too hard. Are y'all okay? My fault. Are y'all okay in here? So now, guess what we just did? Now you just ran up a bunch of credit. Now you got Amex cards, you got the Divi card, you got the American Express Platinum cards, and you're leveraging points. You got the uh, Truist card. I mean, you got... You, you locked in with Truist Bank, you locked in with Key Bank, and here's the other thing. Start calling all your local branches and find out what loans or what type of lending do they do. There's several banks. We were able to get people over 10 to 15 million from Key Bank easily from a group of hundreds of people. Why? Because we realized that they were willing to give up money. It's like the BOA when people were, and I don't know if this is still a thing, but people were being able to get 100000 from BOA getting a business credit buying automobiles. And they was giving up the four. They was giving up the hundred thousand dollars. And this was about a year ago, where so many people was able to leverage it. So banks at times come up with favorable loan terms for the consumer. And if that product works, they keep pushing it. Are y'all getting what I'm saying right now? So I literally just showed you guys how to get the credit. Now for those like Neil, I don't got credit. I don't got anything, y'all. Here's where you start to leverage families and friends, right? A lot of your people, and guys, do the research. I'm not a financial expert. It's something called a self-directed IRA that my friends use, and they leverage it from their aunts and their uncles, and they invest in real estate, and then they give them a return. Most people got 401ks. They got money sitting in the bank, and if they know they like and they trust you, they're willing to go ahead and give you a loan, and you give them a return that's normally greater than what they're going to receive, and they'll let you get in the game. Like, hey, auntie, hey, uncle, I went and invested in this program. They're teaching me all things about event spaces. I know you would like to make more money than what's coming in your bank account. I know you want to get more money than what that baby pension is going to be. Would you like to be a business partner of mine where I'm able to give you a 10% return on your money? Where are we able to partner, right? Another thing that you guys can do is what I did with my day ones initially that didn't work. I all set them down and say, yo, it was 10 on. I need all y'all to put $300 up a month. If we put $300 up a month, at the one year we got $36,000, that's going to get us an event space. That's going to get us a rental company. It's going to get us a truck. It, it would have got us everything we need. I keep 50% of the business. Y'all keep 50% because I'm running it. So the play is, how do you now sit down with your family, let them know, yo, I want to go run this play. Let's put some money up. Because a lot of times, and y'all, later on I, I, in the program, we show you how to go make money without having an event space. You don't even need to have an event space. We show you how to do this. So I don't care about your cash. I don't care about your credit. Okay, go run these other plays till you get all of those things in place. Now, let me give you guys one other play, right? A lot of you right now, entrepreneurs, you are renting co-working spaces at WeWork, at Spaces, at Wing, at all of these places. Let me give you the play that I gave my partner, uh, Pat. So Pat was paying $1,500 to rent a room like this that had three desks in there. I said, bro, let me go ahead and have you go run this event space play, buy my program, go run the event space play. And y'all, he been on Gerard Avenue for the last four years running this play. So now he got all of his staff who was working at that co-working space. Instead of giving them $1,500 a month, he leasing his same spot for $1,500 a month. Got all his workers in there from nine to five. Then when nine to five is done, it's on and popping. So all the events that he's doing on the weekend is free. 
everything he get is all profit because he was going to be paying the rent to any somewhere else anyway. So a lot of you could take where you're at right now and just move into your own event space and that will be your storage. That will be your office. And now you're using that in the, in, during the day. Oh my gosh. Are y'all getting what I'm saying right now? Oh my gosh. I ain't going to lie to y'all. You tell me you've been on a better workshop for free. You tell me right now you've been on a better workshop for free. You tell me that. You haven't. Nobody. You tell me. Huh. I know. You don't, you don't even got to tell me. I, I already know. You have not. You have not. Over a thousand people here. Y'all, let's keep. How many people are already ready to know you getting in my program, y'all? If, th if this is what I gave y'all for free, how many people know I'm ready to throw you that money? Right? I'm, I'm ready to go all in, bro. I'm ready to drop. How much, how much I got to drop? I need to be in that $25,000 program. And I ain't going to sell y'all that today. I want to know who's ready to go. Comment your name below because I always like to do this. Who's investing tonight once I give you guys that opportunity? Because we're going to see who's serious and curious. Y'all see the names right now. See, somebody already, said, somebody already said I can't afford to. You haven't been listening for the last hour of you already saying that. You find the way or you find the excuse. Somebody in the chat write it. Find the way or find the excuse. Find the way or find the excuse. You got to remove the stinking thinking from your mindset. All right, Lex, let's get ready to go on step number three, y'all. And guys, I will be, in, oh, I meant to tell y'all, a lot of y'all going to join my program today for free. That, that I forgot to tell y'all that. We'll be at that point in about 10, of, 10 minutes or so. So just get ready. For those ready to invest in yourself, for those ready to go all in, we got about 10 more minutes. I want to give you guys a step three. Whew, man, let me drink a little bit of water. So let's go ahead and jump into step three. All right, cool. So Shonda, y'all saw me talk about her earlier, y'all. She said, we're super grateful to announce that we secured our second event venue. Shout out to the ESS fam. We really appreciate your love and support. Y'all, can I really need y'all to take a moment. Stop. Put yourself in the mindset that you're going to have your space in this next few months. You're going to take the money you're making and allow it to make you more money. You're going to be the person that's going to provide for your family. You're going to be the person that you're going to be the first generation millionaire in your family and won't be the last. You're going to be the person that's going to do the work necessary to make sure your family is straight. You're going to be the person that's not going to work until you're 65, 70 and work yourself into, to death until exhaustion. You're going to be the person that's going to level up your family. You're going to be the person that's going to make all of your friends and your peers and the people around you believe they can have more. Who's ready to become that person? Somebody in the chat write new identity. New identity states. So everything you're going to become, you're going to be the first generation millionaire. You become an investor. You're going to become an event space owner, right? You got multiple streams of income, right? You're winning, right? You're a provider, like new identity. New identity is everything we're about to become and we forget everything we once was. We, don't, we no longer make excuses. We no longer say we can't. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get going. So let's keep going. Real quick, just a quick question. Uh, since joining the program, I found my space in four days. I want to know who's willing to uh, compete with this. Since joining the program, I tore my space in four days, meaning she signed up today. In four days, she found her space. Signed my lease in 24 days. I had a beautiful and successful grand opening in 34 days. Also had my first customer's party on the same day right after my grand opening. I want to know who's ready for that. All right, let's get into it, y'all. How to automate your space. Everybody started. Let's let's get right into it. So everybody quickly take a minute because this is something I do not want for you. I want you everybody to take a moment to write this down. It's called the 40-40-40 plan. And this is something that I, in my hearts of hearts, I do not want for you. I mean, in my hearts of hearts, in my hearts of hearts, I don't want this for you. What does this mean? In my hearts of hearts, I don't the 40-40 plan is simple. Find a good job, work the good job for 40 hours a week. Work the good job for the next 40 years of your life and retire on 40% of your income. I'm going to say it one more time because this isn't something I want for you. Find a good job, work the good job 40 hours a week. 
work a good job the next 40 years of your life, then retire on 40% of your income. This is not something I want for you. And unfortunately, y'all, most people can't even retire on 100% of their income because we have not been taught about financial literacy. Uh, Shay just said something very powerful, I want to say. And she said, uh, Brittany just said something very powerful. And she said, that's the old way. How many people see now influencers, entrepreneurs, business owners, even people working now leveraging and making more money? How many people see that that thing about finding a good job and working that good job for the next 40 years? That don't exist. Like you can't even tell me a, a, in this generation, somebody 18 to 25. Right. I'm 35. I'm old right now. But you can't tell me that they're looking like you're telling them. Yeah. So you got to find a job and you're going to work that job until you're 65. They can't even, they ain't even with thinking about that idea. Like they, like the, the thought is like, to the thought of them thinking about, I'm about to do this for the next 40, 50 years, it's absurd. And y'all, y'all know what hurt my heart so much? Is when I go into a store and I see um, a grandma, a granddad, 70, 80 years old, and they had the store bagging up groceries, right? And this may be your parents, right? This may be your grand. Like it hurts my soul because, y'all, I'm not, I'm not upset with them. It's just they didn't have access to the information that we have. So if you decide to go in here and not invest in yourself, if you decide not to make your money work for you, if you decide not to uh, find a way to make your money work for you, if you decide to only have one stream of income, I tell people this all the time, having one stream of income is too close to none. Like you're living at a dangerous place if, if the only way you make money is one way. It's, you're in a dangerous place right now. So I tell people all the time is that, yo, the 40-40-40 plan, that will not be your identity and will not be your reality. So I just wanted to let y'all know that because I need us to be able to unlearn and relearn. It's something Derek Grace talk about, unlearn and relearn. And I'll give you guys a prime example of how this works. So many of you right now, you're not where you need to be, and it's simply because your parents gave you and downloaded the wrong information in your brain. See it all. It's like the reason why a lot of you are not where you need to be. You ask your friends, you ask your parents if you should do something that one that they haven't done and they talked you out of. Or you ask your fam, your husband, your wife, or your boyfriend, your some of you unfortunately are sleeping with the enemy. Oops. I, I didn't mean to say that. Which means every time you come with an idea, a goal, or a dream, they tell you next time, they tell you next year, they tell you. Like, how many people are no longer with somebody that was always telling you why you shouldn't do it? You're no longer with this individual anymore. You said it. Somebody said it's out of love and ignorance. So anyway, what I was basically saying was, y'all made me forget what I was saying. I don't even, tell me what I was saying. Anyway, let's just keep going. So anyway, y'all, the 40-40-40 plan, let's go ahead and get into it. So for those who don't know, um, yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Thank, thank you for letting me know, Brittany. So think about this, and I want to keep going, because I don't got a lot of time. I got about five to seven more minutes, so. I want y'all to ask me this, right? How many people here that you regard your parents, you regard your peers, you regard your loved ones, and they they have they have literally helped you make decisions that haven't helped you, right? I want y'all to really think about this concept. You got a 10-second decision to make. And in this 10 seconds, right, you got to trade places with your family, with your mom and your dad. Right now, I'm talking about you get where they live at, you get the money they have, you get their debt, you get their house, you get their car. I'm talking about in 10 seconds, and you get their lifestyle. Are you taking a yes or no? You got 10 seconds. Soon as you say yes or no, whoop, you, you there. I want y'all to look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. crazy look at the chat look at the chat i saw about two yeses look at the chat so don't y'all find it crazy that we asked them their opinion like I, I i don't ask my mom for business advice never it is it, it doesn't make sense mom your job is to pray for me your mom your job is to, to uplift me encourage me i'm not asking you how to run a business i retired you Anyway, y'all, let me keep going, y'all, because I'll be going on the tangent. Anyway, y'all, let's get it. So the reason why my business is on auto, let me go ahead and let y'all know very quickly because I want y'all to write this down. This is going to really help y'all out a tremendous time. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into how you guys can get in the program. And I want to know who's ready for that because, again, some of you starting today for free. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So 
this going to really help y'all out. So for those who don't know y'all, um, I tore my ACL, my meniscus years ago. I never repaired it. I start playing ball. And, and more of a story, when I tore it, I went to the doctor, went to the doctor, and he was like, yo, um, you got to tell your boss you're not going to be able to work for the next 60 days. Based on what we believe, you tore your ACL meniscus, you're going to be out. I'm like, boss, and they, I mean, doc, and there ain't going to be no way I could be out for this long. It's impossible that I could take off this amount of time because I got to work my business. And more of the story, like, you're off. I'm like, darn it. So I went home, y'all. And mind you, up until this point, running the event spaces, I was a slave to my business. I mean, I set up your event. I break down your event. I help you with your event. I put your table linens on your event. I take everything out your car. I bring everything out the car. I clean up the bathroom. I clean up the kitchen. Like, I do everything. Like, I'm in an event anywhere from three to four hours per event at this time. Like, I'm literally obsessing. I'm around the clock, right? And I'm running this by myself. So mind you, I couldn't I I couldn't come up with a, a way of like how can I not do this? Like I'm I'm tore up. And this is why it's very important and critical. I want y'all to write this down. You gotta find a way to make money outside of your hands and outside of your legs in case something ever happens. So you gotta find a way to use this. So what happened is what happened was, y'all, um, and I'm excited somebody getting some cash. Um, what happened was, y'all, more of the story was about a month went in. I'm just sitting there letting my mom and my fiance do all the work. They're setting up, breaking down, but I was literally burning them out. They were at a point of burnt out. So I laid on my bed and something just told me the word automate. Like God just put it on my heart, automate. And from that very moment, y'all, we made a decision. It was like, yo, it's time to automate. And what did this mean? This mean from now on, I had everybody come to my event space, right? Sign on the contract. Everybody write this down. Create a contract, right? And we give you all of our contracts. We give you our scripts. But create a contract. And when you create this contract, on that contract, it literally show tell them everything they need to do or they lose their security deposit. So that means they got to set up their own venue. They got to break. So when you come in my venue, you walk in my door, you got to give us back the venue the same way that we gave it to you. Mind you, prior, we were setting you up. We were breaking you down. We were doing everything. So now we literally removed ourselves out of the business because they now came in their venue and they had to set up their own spot. They had to break it down. They had to return it. And we, what we would say is, hey, we need you to go ahead and do this because the reason why we don't set it up because everybody like their space to look a little differently. So now, y'all, we stopped being able to have to set up, break down, and do all of those things. And now we was able to get our time back. And this, y'all, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in my event space about seven to ten times in the last two years, y'all, because I moved out here and because I've been running the automation system for that long. Why? Because I was able to do this contract. So one of the critical things you do is you need to have the contract and you got to put some sort of automation clause in there where they're setting it up and breaking it down. The next process in the automate, y'all, everybody write it down. You got to hire you a virtual assistant. They're going to be able to handle your contracts. They're going to be able to handle your reviews. They're going to be able to handle your social media. That's going to be a critical piece. One of the ways I ain't going to fully break it down that I teach you how to get your uh, employee that works your space for free is that we run our open house play, which I show you how to literally give you all my scripts where people leave out so they can book book your venue. So now you got that employee for free. You got your vir virtual assistant for free. And now they're doing all of the contracts. So this is how we're able to leverage this place. And this is how I was able to travel to seven countries in two months running this process. And this is what I call my ASAP model, which is autonomous. Like once you set it up once, can it continue to do sustainable? I've had these spaces for over six years now, right? And it's been working for me over and over again. Action, which means once you put the thing in work, will it continue to work in perpetuity? You need to find a way to get paid every single month doing something that you only set up one time. So once you set up these systems, these processes, these teams, these employees, this is something that can work for you over and over again, right? So this is when I talk about my ASAP model, right? And this is why this is so critical, right? And I wanna show you guys, darn it, I don't see it in here, but I wanted to show you guys, here we go, I wanted to show you guys the ASAP model because this is what it does. So I'm in Dubai last month, right? And while I'm in Dubai, let me know if y'all got that ASAP model. Let me know if y'all picked up that game. So when, when I'm in Dubai, if you guys look up here to my top, that's Shaniko right there, right? And we're in Dubai. Her and her husband, Demetrius, again, they, they paid $75,000 to be in my mastermind. Prior to that, they joined my other mastermind around our passive income program. I think they paid like 20 grand for that or whatever. So they kept elevating. They started with our course. Then they went to the mastermind. Then they went to the other mastermind. But they was able to make this type of money because they're doing $30,000 a month with their event spaces. We spent eight days in Dubai. As you guys can see, we was on a hot air balloon together. 
And she's like, yo, believe it or not, we got two events going this day. And if you look down to the bottom left, Millionaire Lady C, right? She's also my mastermind. Her name is Christine. She's over in LA. And she wrote on my live while I was live in Dubai. She wrote, the program works if you work it. Speaking from experience, Venue.38 is proof of the product. Best decision ever. So guys, when I tell you this automation process, it works. And let me go ahead and give you another hack. Somebody say one more, right? The other thing, the reason why this relationship building is critical is because you want to go ahead and set up these systems. So again, everything that I'm telling you guys to do is for a reason. So I'm telling you to set up the social media. I'm telling you to build the relationships. I'm telling you to partner with different event planners because now you go in and partner with three or five event planners. You let them know you want to make them one of your preferred vendors on your list, right? One of the things that I ask that you do is every time you set up our venue, just send us the pictures and the videos. Also, I would love for you to be able to come here and just set up prior to having the event so you're now able to use this for photo shoots and you can use this to market your business so now we got three to five event planners doing that so now we got all of the marketing pictures literally within 30 days of our venue being open because we leveraging the partnerships that we had with the event planners so now somebody want to have a baby shower this would it look like you want to have a book sign this would it look like you want to have a repast this would it look like you want to have a uh prom sent off this would it look like you want to have a kid party this what it looks like are y'all getting the game that i'm talking about are y'all getting it y'all so y'all, that's my friends is what I call the automation process, y'all. And that is the game. My question to you is, who is ready to get to that next level? Who is ready to be like my guy, Kelsey, that got the dynasty suite over there in South Florida, right? Who is ready to be like Signature Events Hall, right? They're open to the public for the first time. They start accepting money before they even get booked. I booked three events this week and they wasn't even fully ready. My question is, who's ready to be able to get in the program right now, make this investment in yourself to help you get to that next level? Some of y'all going to get started for free. My question is, who's ready to start seeing Stripe invoices, right, like this, where, where you're getting $450, you're getting $650, you're getting $50, you're getting $150 from your clients that's using your venue leveraging this, y'all. I'm literally, I just broke down how to find your space, how to fund it, and how to automate it. And again, I only could do but so much in an hour. But who's ready to spend, who's ready to get the full-on program where we could help you guys get to the next level, where we show you guys how to hire your team and get your employees for free? Who's ready for that type of information, right? Right. Who's ready to literally get inside of an environment with other people who think just like you, who also ready to get to the next level? Who's ready to get inside of an environment where you can go ahead and get your accountability partner so they can help hold you accountable, right? And help give you the game that you need in addition to what we give you to help you get to the next level. Right. I want to know who I'm talking to. I want to I, I want to know who's ready to be like Cash that ran one of our plays where she was able to go ahead and get a go ahead and get her first event space and then we go ahead and teach her a play where she was able to acquire a space fully done fully ready and was able to walk right in the door and don't have to do anything other than set up with the township. I want to know very quick who ready to be like Zen where you will go ahead and start off with just your event space and then with the training that we should give you, now she's going and adding an extra $1,500 to $2,500 event from doing the decorating. Somebody in the chat say, I need all the money. Think about the concept. So you are now either doing the decorations or you're partnering with somebody that's doing the decorations and you're getting a kickback off of every partnership you create. I will start offering decoration packages for my venue. That's an additional $1,500 to $2,500 per event. Need tables, linen, chargers, centerpieces. I'm doing it, right? Who's ready to be that? Like, I'm, I'm curious to know who am I talking to, right? Right? I, I want to know, yo, I have hosted four easy corporate events. I think I'm in love, y'all. Who's ready to know my formula on how to get your venue booked and busy? Who want to know my formula about how to get two to three people to pay your overhead so every event that you have after that is, is cash money? Like somebody in the chat, right? Booked and busy, right? Like who was that individual? Like Neil, I need. I'm ready to get all your contracts. I'm ready to get all your agreements. I'm ready to get all your documents. I'm ready to go out and talk to your Lord. Everybody you have on your team, I need that team, Neil. I'm ready to be that person. So my question is this: Before I get into it, because I want to ask permission, and y'all, let me be very clear. Before I get into this, y'all, this opportunity will only be available for 20 people today. 
right? I think last time we did 30 because we had more people, but this, I, I, this is for people who are serious, not curious. So before I get into it, do I have permission to take the next two to five minutes to break down what you get inside of this and how you can make this investment and how some of you are going to be able to get in for free? Like, do I have the permission to go ahead and share it with you? And the second question is, I know it's at the top of the year. Do I have permission today to over deliver, to give you more than anybody ever gotten from getting in this program? Is it okay if I do that for y'all here? Like where I go ahead and break all of these things down for you step by step by step. I want to know that real quick. Is it okay if I do that for y'all today? Like, is it okay? I'm just curious. Is it okay if I over deliver right now? Over deliver, right? Is it okay if I break down all the things that you are getting step by step by step, right? Is it okay if I go ahead and show you guys the strategies that we use to find venues that are already existing, partner with them, and start making money? Is it okay if I show you guys how to become a marketing machine where everybody know you exist? Is it okay if we show you how to start making money from all the extra strategies that we use, like having a 360 booth, y'all? Sorry, y'all. Let me go ahead and break it down, give you guys the opportunity to be able to take action on this opportunity. So for those who do not know, y'all, I have something that I created, right, that is literally life-changing. It is called the Event Space Secrets, right? And for those who don't know, I got a few ways you can work with me. You can work at my highest level, which is a $75,000 opportunity, right? That is in my overall mastermind on digital marketing. You can get inside of our passive income program with his Oyinka and so many other people in, and I believe we're offering that for $20,000, but what I would like to talk to everybody here today is about our event space remaster, like our event space crate. Like this is something that we just created and added. We'll add a bunch more to it for 2023. And this will be the second time I'm offering it. I don't know if I'm going to offer it again, but is it OK if I over deliver and literally share with you guys everything that you're about to get right and give you the opportunity to be able to get this exact blueprint where you can learn how you can make an extra three to fifteen thousand dollars a month profit where you can learn everything. Like I put my heart, soul in this, y'all, where y'all can learn you getting over 40 hours of just programming alone. You're getting all my contracts. You're getting all my leases. You're getting all my lawyer coaching calls. Like, is it okay if I give you the thing so you don't got to go bump your head? The biggest mistake that so many people make is you go try to do it on your own and you lose thousands of dollars and now you discourage and never want to get back in business because you did it the hard way without a coach, without a mentor, without anything like that. So let me be very clear. This is what I'm going to do for y'all today, y'all. And this is for two, this, this, excuse me, this is for 20 people. Just to let you guys know, the program is only $10,000. My question is, how many people know $10,000 is worth it if you can make three to $10,000 a month profit for the next multiple years? Like, how many people know, like, I would gladly give you $10,000 if I'm able to make three to $10,000 a month profit leveraging one of the plays that I break down for you? Like, I, I need to be all in. So, again, our remaster program, when I decided everything that we're getting, everything that we're offering, all the things that we're giving you, all the tools, all the strategies, all the resources, I said, without a shadow of a doubt, getting my contracts, I pay my lawyer $10,000 to do the last call he just did, which was an hour and a half, right? Do y'all guys want that call? It's $10,000. But what I said, man, what I want to do on this call, y'all want to do something super special for those who are here for that first 20 people. And instead of making it $10,000, y'all, for everybody ready, y'all, I want to go ahead and give everything that I just said for $4,997. And I'm about to list out the five to seven other things that you're going to get that I have yet to talk about. Now, what I want to do, because everybody in the chat writes success, love, speed. Everybody in the chat say take action now. Everybody in the chat say it's my time. Everybody in the chat say it's time to win. For the first 20 people, y'all, instead of giving this to you guys for $5,000, I'm giving it to you for $1,997, y'all. And you can go now to eventspacesecrets.com and get everything that I said and everything I'm about to say, y'all, for $1,997. Now, while you guys are doing that, go to eventspacesecrets.com. While I go ahead and break this down, let me go ahead and share with you guys how y'all can go ahead and get this for free. Now, a lot of you are like, Neil, how do I do this? So, I've had the opportunity and the privilege, and I'm so excited about it. And this is half of everybody in our program took advantage of this. We were able to partner with PayPal Credit. And what PayPal Credit does, it gives you the opportunity right now to be able to start our program today for free. Let's say it one more time. PayPal Credit gives you the opportunity to start our program today for free. 
where you literally get 30 seconds, you fill out some information based on your credit, they will approve you, right? Prove you or not in 30 seconds. And you literally start our program for free and you get 0% interest for six months. So remember earlier when I talked about the power of leverage? So you go ahead and I'm not telling you to leverage $300,000 like I did on my credit card. You're leveraging $2,000, you get six months to pay it off. So you get to learn about my partnership processes. You get our black book. Like I'm gonna talk about everything you're gonna get, but you get to literally learn a game and the strategy that I teach and then go pay back the income. So what I want y'all guys to do right now, go to eventspacesecrets.com. We got the PayPal credit link as well. Give you guys the option and the opportunity to be able to go get in the program, y'all. And I'm super pumped up and excited for everybody who's deciding to take action. Somebody in the chat, right? Take action, y'all. I truly believe this program is going to be the program that helps you get to that next level. I truly believe this is going to be the program that literally gives you the energy, the mindset, right? The strategies, the everything you need to truly grow yourself and to truly grow your business. Business. But the only way any of these is going to work if you work. One of the things my brother Troy from Earn Your Leisure say, he always say, ed education on me, execution on you. My question is, I want to know today who are my executors. And once you make the investment right now when the chat say I invested, I want to know who are my executors? Who are my people like, Neil, I'm going all in right now. Neil, I got to be a part of that group of 20, right? And let me know, y'all, as soon as we get to the 20, you guys will see it for 5K. You could wait, right, and pay more. Or you can get it now. So as you guys make these investments in yourself, let me know so we could go in and say congratulations, right? So we could pump you up, right? And so we could literally say, ah, you in there. You in there. So again, y'all want to take a moment. I want to say congratulations to everybody getting in. Take a moment to go to eventspacesecrets.com right now. You guys are going to get the exact link for you to apply. It will take you about 30 seconds to two minutes to apply for PayPal or for those who are just going to make that investment yourself. It will take you about 30 seconds to a minute to be able to get in. And I am so pumped up and I am so excited for you in this time because what it's going to do for you. I tell people all the time, you making this investment in me won't do anything for me, but it will do everything for you. I do the same exact thing every day. And honestly, I stop even selling lower price programs because why? When they're so cheap, you don't take action. But top of the year, I'm like, yo, I want to do something for a group of people who are serious. I want to do something for a group of people like, yo, I'm ready to go all in right now. I want to do something for that group of people like, yo, Neil, I'm betting on me this season in my life. I've been doing everything for everybody else. It's time for me to do something for myself. I make sure my mom's straight. I make sure my wife's straight. I make sure my husband's straight. I make sure my kid's straight. But I have yet to pinpoint when I made myself straight. I'm yet to pinpoint when I decided to go all in on me. I have yet to pinpoint when I decided to bet on me. So again, y'all, go to eventspacesecrets.com. Let me go ahead and share with you just some of the things you're getting right now, y'all. You're going to get our entire Event Space Secrets, what is it, 3.0 remastered program, right? You're going to get access to our private group where you're able to get an accountability partner, right? Your next 90 days is on me. Like every day, you're going to get an accountability partner. You're going to get plugged in. You're going to get in a group with dozens, well, hundreds of other people just like you ready to get to the next level. You don't get all of our contracts, right? You don't get all of the excerpt interviews. We just paid a lawyer about two weeks ago, $10,000, my guy Raleigh, to review contracts, to ask questions. Is it okay if I throw that in for everybody getting on that next level? Is it all right if I do that? Right? Those are just some of the things you're going to get. Now, what I told y'all, this ain't on the website. I want to go ahead and over deliver for those who are here right now. So my question is for the next week, y'all, is it OK if we add you guys to our sprint program? And this is something that we created literally last month is for a week where you get coaching. You get a call, right? You get tasks that you need to do every single day where we're challenging you. Right. Like in this first week, our goal is for you to identify a space. In this first week, you are already getting the people who will help you get that space. In this first week, you're already running some of the credit plays that we give you. We're literally breaking down the things that you need to do. So is it okay? If, and I don't offer that anymore. We stopped doing that a long time ago, but we want to put you in our private Telegram ch chat where you're going to get a message from me, where you're going to get advice from me, where we could go ahead and review things, right? So that's one of the things I want to offer, right? Let me go ahead and pull it up because I want to I want to really over deliver right now. Next, is this something that is this something else that I could do for y'all right now? Is it OK in this week that we offered you multiple coaching calls? My number one goal is how can we push you to get to that next level? Right. How can we like literally give you everything you need where you don't have an excuse? Like, 
Understand this. Price is only an issue if value is absent. The reason why I don't, like, the reason why for me personally, this is more for you than this for me because, yo, I invest $100,000, $150,000, $30,000, $50,000. In this last year, 2022, I invested over $400,000 in my personal development. Why? Because the more that you learn, the more that you earn. So the reason why I'm constantly investing in myself, the reason why I'm constantly taking this information and going all in is because the more that I invest in me, the greater, the greater I learn. Like the reason, how many people here, you feel stagnant? You've been in the same place for the last several years. Be honest with me. Like you feel stagnant. Like you, and oftentimes the reason why, because we keep doing the same thing over and over again and somehow we're expecting a different result. Unfortunately, you will never get the different result doing the same thing over and over again. So my question to you is, for those who are thinking about this investment, ask yourself this. What, are, what am I willing to give up in order to go up? What decisions, what steps must I make right now to secure my future? Last year, you said you was going to do something this year. Last month, you said you was going to do something. This month, you said this is going to be a whole nother month for me. My question is, what are you willing to do about it now? If you guys got the information that I just shared with y'all for free, can y'all imagine what y'all going to get inside of the community? Can you imagine what y'all get when we get to go look at when, when we get to go check out them leases? Will y'all get to go ahead and post in the group and we give you our honest opinion if it work or not? Will we go ahead and set you up with Coach Tanisha to help you and review certain things? Like, what is that worth to y'all? Right? So I want to go ahead and take a moment. I haven't had a minute, but I want to go ahead. If y'all just made an investment, let me know. I need to, I, I need to go ahead and congratulate some people really quick. I haven't even had a time. I haven't even got a chance to look. Let me go ahead and salute some people that just made an investment, right? As um, soon as you made your investment, let me know so we could go ahead and congratulate you really quick. And once you see people, go ahead and say congrats so we could go ahead and salute them, right? So let's see here. Uh, let's get it going. Uh, uh, let's get Y'all going crazy in this chat. And a lot of you private messaging me. Congratulations, Peter is in. Go. Congratulations, Ami in. Congratulations. Yo, once you're in, say pay, y'all paid in full. I invested, so we know. Congratulations, Aubrey is in. Congratulations. Let's go. Let's get it. Um, let's go. Let's get it. Congratulations, Tiffany. Let's go. Congratulations, Dom. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, let's go. The noise is cracking me up, right, Brittany? Made the investment. Congratulations, the stallion. Let's go. Come on, let's get it. Let's go. Congratulations. If you're working on it, let us know. Yup. Zach, he already in the program. Congratulations. Let's go. I'm about to purchase Event Space Secrets. Let's go, Pete. Um, let's get it, y'all. I just want to take a moment and congratulations. Yup. Congratulations, Ashley. Let's go. Hey, do me a quick favor. Some of you guys are messaging me privately. Change your settings where it says not host and panelists, but it says to everybody, right? And if you're working on getting on, let us know so we could go ahead and let so we could go ahead and uh look out for your name once you go ahead and get yourself in there. Congratulations, Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin Nesbitt, I made the investment. Let's get it, y'all. So again, y'all, I just want to take a moment. I'll come back to, and congratulate some people as we continue to go. But I really want y'all to think about the idea of. I really want y'all to think about the idea of that, yo, what what will happen to me in the next three to six months because I took action? Like what, like what, what would be the thing, right? If I take action on this information, what will happen to me in the next three to six months? Like, like there's several people here, right? One second, y'all. My team is messaging me stuff. Mm, congratulations to everybody. Let's go. Uh, what if you not approved? You got to find a wind away. You got to find a way. You got to find a way. Shelly just made a way. Let's go. Congratulations to Shelly. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, y'all. Let me know as soon as y'all get in. Right? Khalifa just got in. Congratulations. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Working on it. Let's go, Cynthia. Let's go, Ami. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So anyway, y'all, listen. One of the biggest things y'all got to ask yourself for those who are thinking about, some people are asking, oh, how much does it cost? And you guys can see it's $5,000, but we're giving it to you for $2,000. The question you want to ask yourself is not how much does it cost? The question you got to ask yourself, how much does it cost if I do not do it? Right? For those who do not know, your biggest expense in life is what you do not know. It's not taxes. It's not, 
is not the biggest expense in life is what you do not know, right? And it's one of these things I want y'all to really write down, put it on y'all paper. And I meant to say it earlier on the workshop. One of my biggest mistakes I wanted y'all to write this down is moving slow, right? Everybody write this down. Every time you wait, it always costs more. I'm going say it one more time. Every time you wait, it always costs more. Dr. Harris just made the investment. Congratulations, y'all. Let's go. Every time you wait, it always costs more. I want. I really want y'all to really take a moment because I really got pissed off the other day. Me and my brother, David Shans, we both had a deal presented to us, right? It was $25,000 or $20,000. He took advantage of the deal. For some reason, I decided to delay. The gentleman ended up having somebody else present the number to me, and he said, based on before discount, it's going to be $240,000. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. He got it for twenty thousand a month ago, and that why? Because they recognized their worth at that moment, and the price instantly changed. So what am I telling y'all? Some of you are here asking and wondering, like maybe I could do this next time. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll make the decision next time, and not understanding that next time may not come. Some of you are already talking about next time, right? And for those who don't understand what now stands for, it stands for no opportunity wasted. That means when I got an opportunity to invest in myself and make myself better, I do it every single day of the week. Why? Because I don't care about what the person is giving me. I know I'm going to guarantee investment. The reason the other day I went to the Lakers game, paid all this money to sit on the floor, I knew I was going to guarantee to get my money back because of the people in the environment. Right. The reason why I joined these pro coaching programs, one hundred and fifty five thousand to King Solomon Circle, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to Russell Brunson, fifty thousand dollars to War Room, thirty thousand dollars to Rudy Mauer. It's not because of the information they're going to give me it's because of the environment the people they are going to put me around and because I'm going to get five to ten X or whatever it costs, because that's what that's the type of guy I am. I'm going to make the investment. And I'm going to do the work to get the results. So again, my question is, what are you willing to give up in order to go up? Are you okay staying the same or are you ready to do something that's going to challenge you? Are you ready to do something that's going to push you to a new atmosphere? Are you ready to do something that's going to put you around a lot of people? The real reason why a lot of you people are still here is over, what's that, 600 and, or is that 600 or 720 people here? You know why? Because you enjoy being around like-minded people. You enjoy getting access to new information. That's why you're still here if you didn't make the investment. And I already know, of course, only 1% to 3% of people will actually make the investment in themselves because those are the people who are serious and not curious. But the reason why a lot of people are still here is because they love the energy. How many people would love the type of had this energy all the time? Love to, be, love to be inside of our private groups. Love to get voice notes from me, right? Love to be able to reach out to our team, get stuff reviewed. Love to be able to come to live events when we have them. Love to be in an environment with people who push you and challenge you, right? Love to be around people who just get it. A lot of you, real quick, y'all, I'm sorry to say, a lot of you the smartest person in your circle. And we all understand being the smartest person in our circle isn't a circle, it's a cage. Because what happens is everybody around you are leeching on you for everything. Anybody tired of that? Everybody in your environment leeching around you. Everybody in your environment want everything that you got. Like, everything that you got. They want this, they want this, they want this, they want that, they want this, they want that. And you feel drained. Like, yo, can I borrow some money? Can I pick your brain about this? Can you help me do this? Can you help me do that? Hey, can you come meet me here? Y'all, one of the things I want y'all to do when y'all get off the call, you need to do an audit. Are the people you talking to and texting, are they adding to you or are they taking from you? Are they a deposit or are they a withdrawal? Most people are around them, they're nothing but withdrawals. They're leeches. So this is why I constantly keep putting myself around people who get it, y'all, because once you get around people who get it, everything changes for you. Once you get in environments where people will help you, everything changes. So let me go ahead and break down some of the things y'all going to get. Is it okay if I over-deliver right now? Is it okay if I over-deliver? Because I want to go ahead and add some stuff right now, and then I want to bring some people in. If you said Salik is here, bring him up to the stage for me real quick. But I want to go ahead and take a moment to over-deliver, and this is something that we just added today. So it's a couple things. So again, very quickly, y'all, the investment is $5,000 normally, right? We're giving this to you for $19.97. Somebody could go on the website, eventspacesecrets.com, and tell me if it still say $19.97 or did they put the $5K up? Let me know. But if y'all go there, y'all could get it. You also can apply for PayPal credit. Team, drop the link to PayPal credit. What PayPal credit does, it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and get started now and pay them later. As long as you pay them within six months, 
p- payments every single month. It will be 0% interest for you. Marvetta, thank you so much. Right? Still based on credit, though. Absolutely, Brittany. So, but literally 50% of everybody in our program, they've took an action on that because it's the leverage play. Like, one of the things I teach is leverage. If you got cash, I will use the cash. Like, I, however it can get me in, I'm going to do that. But the reason why every time I can use leverage, I'm going to use leverage because I now can go hustle it up. And it forces me to use the information because I'm like, yo, when I make, when I pay these coaches the amount of money that I pay for these masterminds, it forces me to got to go get the money back. The unfortunate thing is about this, though, a lot of you right now are making this investment. The investment is so small that a lot of you going to allow this to sit on your shelf. A lot of you going to allow this to sit on your shelf. Somebody in the chat, for those making an investment, right, promise you're going to do something with the information. Promise me in the chat. Yo, Neil, I promise you, fam, I'm going to do something with the information. I promise you I'm going to take action, fam. I promise you, bro, I ain't going to waste your time, y'all. Because, again, the information won't help me, but 100% it will help you. But I need those individuals ready to go all in. I need those individuals ready to bet on themselves. And bet means become everything today. I need them individuals tired of waiting and hoping and wishing something is going to change, but you putting on you that I'm going to make the change, right? One of the things my brother Jabril says, he says, discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. Do you know how regretful I am that David paid 20,000? They asked me for, they fixed their face to ask for a quarter million dollars. Mad. One of my uncles, do you know how when, during his last days, he was talking about how he wished he would have lived this life, how he wished he would have bettered on himself, how he wished he would have been an entrepreneur, how he wished he would have traveled? Y'all, one of the things that I don't want is to be a wish person. I wish I would have done this then. I wish I would have done that then when you had the opportunity. One of the things that my mentor E.T. says, he says, you got to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime during the lifetime of the opportunity. I'm going to say it one more time. One of the things my mentor E.T. says, you got to take advantage of a lifetime of opportunity during a lifetime of opportunity, which means you got to take advantage while it's in front of you and not hoping which is going to be there tomorrow. You know our biggest mistake for the culture is tomorrow, next time, next week, next month. How many people have been telling themselves for years you're going to start and you haven't started? Be honest with me in the chat. You've been telling yourself you're going to start for years and you haven't. You keep saying it, you keep joining every free workshop, you keep joining every presentation, but you aren't doing anything. One of the things that my brother Marcus Ryan Roger said, he said, don't become addicted to education and allergic to execution. Addicted to education is going on every webinar you can get on. Keep trying to piece all this free information together instead of saying, yo, I'm going to commit, I'm going to make this investment in myself, and I'm going to apply the information. I'm done being addicted to education and allergic to execution. I'm done being allergic to action. Y'all, ask yourself this now. What are what am I willing to give up in order to go up? Am I ready to commit now? Somebody in the chat right, commit. Am I ready to do the work? So let me go ahead and break down some of what y'all going to get right now. Richie, is Salik here? Let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and break down some of what we're going to get right now. So we got... Um, so you'll get the entire event space program, y'all. And again, is it okay if I do this? So just so y'all know, every year... The event space program, your investment renews. So if you, just say if you pay five grand a year from now, it renews. You pay the two grand a year from now, it renews. You are grandfathered in at that price. Now, what I'm going to do for everybody here, y'all, this will be lifetime access, meaning a year from now, it won't renew. It's yours forever. So when you get updates, it's yours forever. Is it all right if I do that for y'all? So that's the first thing I want to do that's not listed here. Second thing, y'all, I want to go ahead and give you guys a private Telegram chat for the next week. This is our sprint group where we're literally going to give you insights. We're going to give you strategy. We're going to give you games to take action over this next seven days. Every single day, something will be dropped in that group that we need you to complete before the end of the day. Right. This is going to really hold you accountable. There will be calls. There will be certain things you are going to get access to that we stop doing this. We don't offer coaching calls like that. Right. This is specifically for those who are coming in right now. Why? Coaching calls is our next level. Right. It's a 15, 20 thousand dollar investment. But for y'all, I want to go ahead and do that as well as several other calls throughout this month. Is it okay if I do that? Next, I want to give you guys access to our private Facebook group. Right. Free for the next 90 days. It won't cost you anything. Right. Next, is it okay if I keep delivering? Somebody say keep going, Neil. I created something called the cheat code. We want to give you guys access to the cheat code for a year for free. 
It's an educational platform. We're rebranding and renaming it, but it's an educational platform. My partner just told me today, hey, bro, you could give this away for free for a year. Where we're giving you the entire program for a year. I think it's like 500 or 1,000 for a year. I want to go ahead and give that to you for a year for free. 30 different instruct instructors on a bunch of different topics. Is it okay if we do that? Is it okay if we do that? Let's keep going. Next thing, let's keep going. Next, I want to go ahead and keep going. So next thing is this. And then I want to go ahead and um, I want to go ahead and get into this, right? Our next thing I want to do, y'all, is I want to give you guys access to our event space conference. So I spent all this money having a conference. Everybody paid two thousand to be there. It's a two and a half day conference, twenty hours of content. I want to give you guys the recordings for that. If you know, you can't buy them anywhere. If you buy them, there'll be a thousand dollars for the recordings. I want to give you guys access to that. Second thing I want to do, y'all, because I said I wanted to over deliver. I wanted to do something for people today that's going to challenge them and push them to another level. And Salik is here. Can you bring them up to the stage, uh, Richie? So one one other thing I want to do for you guys. Bring my guy Salik in here. One other thing I want to do for you guys. Is it okay if I just we just did a passive income conference, another two and a half day conference. Credit, event spaces, Airbnb, Toro, all of those things you need. Thousand dollars that recording as well. I want to also offer that to y'all as well. Is it okay if I do that? So again, that's everything that y'all getting right now. And I got a few other little uh, tricks for you guys that I want to over deliver with. But that's for those who already taken action. Those are for those who said, "Bro, I'm ready to get in," and I'm going to honor that for everybody. Intel nine fifty five, maybe ten o'clock. I'm about to bring my brother Salika in the chat, and I want to ask him a few questions. But again, I wanted to just go ahead and over deliver here, y'all, and just give you guys that opportunity to get in all of those things for $19.97. So you could go to eventspacesecrets.com, right? You could hit the PayPal credit link. If you're having any issues, you could reach out to our team uh, via text or via email. And before I go ahead, if somebody just made this investment in the last Five to ten minutes, go ahead and comment purchase so I could go ahead and salute you. I haven't saluted anybody in a minute, but I, I got to go ahead and salute people, right? Uh, Bill Lennar, let's go. Congratulations. Oh, y'all going crazy. Cheryl, Denzel, congratulations. Antoinette, congratulations. Ashley, congratulations. Kim, Congratulations. Uh, Andrea C, congratulations. Deti Leon, congratulations. Andrea, congratulations. Let's go. Everybody in the chat say congratulations to him. Jay Stewart, congratulations. These are people who are going all in, right? These are people like, bro, Neil, I'm betting on me. These are people like, bro, I'm not waiting and hoping and wishing something's going to change. I'm putting on me. And the, and the next thing I want you to really ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you make an investment in yourself and what? You make the money back, right? <laughs> like, it, it will be almost, and again, I, I don't want to make claims or anything. Like, it will be very hard for you not to make your investment back if you if you literally execute on all the information that we're putting right in front of you, right? <laughs> Kelvin, congratulations, right? Shelly, congratulations. Let's go. Dion and Compton, let's go. Congratulations. Hey, Dion, I'm going to connect you with Christine who's in L.A., so you could go pull up on her space and shadow her. Would it be helpful, y'all, if we let you know what venues we got in your city so you could possibly go shadow them for a day, if they're willing? Congratulations, <laughs> Patrice Irvin. Let's go. Yep. Yep, let's go. Bernard Robinson, let's go. Congratulations. Kia said, just purchased. Congratulations. Lee, just purchased. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, Peter, you could eat, text that number. They can help you up. Brittany says, I'm cracking up over that sound. Antonio said, I'm $200 away. Well, we're going to say congrats in advance, Antonio. Let's get it. Miles, let's go, Miles. Congratulations. Let's go. I'm driving to the bank. Kia says, I'm in. Let's go. Right. Somebody saying scholarship. We don't have them, y'all. We don't have any scholarships right now. Let's get it. Yep. Let's get it. Congratulations, y'all. Let's go. Everybody go to the website, eventspacesecrets.com. If you're working on getting in right now, let us know. Um, all right, let me bring my guy Salik in really quick. Uh, Salik, go ahead and unmute my guy. What it do, my G? Neil, 
Yo, what's up, brother? What's good? Hey, bro. Thank you for coming on, bro. How you feeling, dog? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing amazing, man. This yeah. thing is great, man. I'm pumped up. <laughs> Hey, bro, you know the vibe. You know I got to bring that in. I don't know if you, oh, bro, I don't know if you was on the coaching call that I just did the other day. I snapped out. Oh, you you got to, if you, go watch that replay, bro. I'm talking about, I brought, and let me ask y'all, is it okay if we give y'all, if we go inside of the vault and give you the coaching call that I just did two days ago? I want to know if y'all are right with that. I'm talking about, you was on it? I was on it. What, where I talked about the school play? Oh yeah, I was on that. Oh. Actually, I was shopping, but I, had, I was still listening. I had my son with me, but I had my headphones in and everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I snapped out on that. I want to get that to y'all, y'all. Richie, make sure they get access to that so they can immediately go watch that. But Sleek, my guy, my guy, he been in the program, y'all, for a few years now. And, and and one thing that I'm proud about him is proud for him is for me, y'all. I need you, everybody in the chat, write this down: one connection and one move. Most of you here are one connection or one move away from changing everything in your life. Most of you, one connection and one move. And I may not be the move for you. I may not be the connection. I don't know. Some, some of y'all I will be, some of y'all won't be. Salik and his wife, I was one of the people that helped them with certain things. So they got into the event space program and it opened up the doors for him opening multiple other businesses. And how long have y'all event space been up and running, bro, since then? So we've been up for a little over Three years. Yo, time is flying, dog. Three years. Three years. Wow, and y'all, they over there. They over there. What part of New Jersey in, Sleek? So we, we, up, uh, we, we up north, so we north Jersey. Okay, love, love. So tell the people, man, just just your thoughts, man. What do you think about our, our community, just the program, just like the game? I know it's been three years, so that means if it's been three years, it may took you anywhere from a month to a year to get your space. So you've really been with me now, wow, close to four years. Let the people know just um, your thoughts, brother. Yeah, I mean, everything is amazing. Trust me, it's, it's worth, it's been worth every penny. I mean, uh, I mean, this is, I know you talked about the cheat code, which is crazy. They're getting the cheat code as well. But I feel like the program is, this is really like the cheat code. I mean, you're really getting everything, and you know we have no complaints. The community is amazing, um, and then you guys are just getting all this extra value, which is which is crazy. Um, but we've been, had a great time, and um, yeah, I mean, we've been just year after year, we've been growing in revenue, and um, it, it's been amazing. So like, and I just want to say this one thing: there's 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 more people looking. Right for what we have to offer for a space, then there are spaces. So the the <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So the opportunity is there, and the value that you're providing for 1997 is, I mean, it's it's, it's crazy. Bro, it, it it doesn't it doesn't make sense what we're doing, bro. But I'm literally like, um, hold on one sec. I'm literally like, bro, how can I help? Cause I understand, bro. I I personally know what happens. Like it's the top of the year right now, sleep. Like we're motivated, we're pumped. And some people already fell back into like the like mindset. I don't know if this is gonna be my year. So I'm like, bro, let me give you everything I need to make it your year. Let me give you the mindset coaching. Let me give you the program. Let me give you everything we got to assure that this could be your year. But you got to make a decision to push the button. You got to make a decision to go all in. You made that decision and it catapulted several different things, y'all. And I'm about to put Salik on the spot. I asked him this last week. I want I want to see if he's going to do it. Well, I asked him this a minute ago, but I want to see if he's willing to do this. But for y'all for y'all don't know, so Salik ended up getting in my program. And then he went ended up getting in one of my other buddies' programs. When he got in one of my other buddies' programs, guess what happened? He ended up learning about Google Ads. Now, guess what? He does a coaching call for us on Google Ads, teaching people how to do Google Ads. So then, then he got a whole nother business. So guess what I asked him to do? And I'm going to see if he's going to be willing to do it, y'all. So not what, what he did was I hit him up and like, yo, bro, how can I get a hold of your program where we can go ahead and offer it to people inside of our program for our $15,000, $20,000 program? And I said, bro, would you be willing to offer? He said, yes. But last time on the workshop, he came on, I'm like, bro, I need to I need to be able to give it to the people who just took action. I need because guess what happened? Oh, I don't got money to I don't got money to get my space. Or imagine if you start learning how to run Google ads. Now you're running ads for other people's spaces, and now you're making money off of every time they get booked or one in turn 
Not only that, what if you just go ahead and learn the ads and now you run them for your space? Now you're getting more bookings because most people don't know about Google ads. They don't even know this world exists and people are literally, you booking five to 10 events a month running a simple Google ad, but you learned the strategy on how to do it. Yep, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if, you know, for those who take action, I mean, if, if you, I mean, if we throw in a Google ads in there, that, I mean, that's just crazy value um, in itself. But just, just so y'all know, like just for me to learn Google ads, I paid probably about almost 20 grand just to learn that. I didn't know you paid that much, though. That's why I'm really. That's why I'm about to stop asking you to do this. This is the second time I ask you. Like I, I, I want to respect what you're doing. I know we pay you as a coach and stuff, but I do respect it. But I, and here's the thing, y'all. Unfortunately, most people ain't gonna take action on it. But for those who took action, it's okay. We give that to y'all. Um, a, a, a really quick. Adriana, Chris Sanders is on our team. I'm not sure what he commented. So uh, he's on our team. So just so y'all know, that's not somebody scamming. <laughs> just so y'all clear. Chris is on our team. Chris Sanders. Just want to let y'all know that. Um, yeah. Last thing we going to do ever is scam, y'all. Trust me. The, the, this money not that important to us. <laughs> it's more impact. So, no, nah, bro, I just wanted to thank you, man, for just taking the time to really just get on here and um and just share the game with everybody, man. I'm just grateful for you, bro, and just – um, I'm excited for just really what's to come for you in this in this coming year. I'm excited for these next live events that we do, bro. And I'm just ready. I just want to say thank you for tapping in, my brother. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Let's get it, Salik. Thank you, Kane. Y'all, oh, oh, Salik, do me a quick favor. Drop in your Instagram and uh, your event space so people can stay tapped in with you, brother. Okay, absolutely. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, my guy. All right, y'all, man, listen, we're about to go ahead and get ready to wrap this call up. If y'all want me to go a few more minutes, I will. Oh, I forgot. Darn it. Y'all, I want to go ahead and do Q&A in a minute. So I want to go ahead and answer some questions for y'all. We got to give out some cash. Um, do me a quick favor, Richie. Uh, team, drop in the, the event space webinar. There's a few things I need y'all to do right now. Drop my YouTube link in there so y'all can subscribe. Comment subscribe when you're done. You guys are about to see how this works. Drop in there the Facebook group link. For those dropping the Facebook group link, right, for the event space webinar group so people have access to those two things, make sure you request that group if you're not in there. Um, let me go ahead and bring my guy in really quick. And, y'all, again, um, really quick, let me go ahead. If y'all just got in really quick, let me know so I could go in and salute some people. If y'all just made an investment because I haven't been able to look. If you just got in. If you just got in the game, let us know so we can congratulate you really quick. Um, Brittany, I love the value that you bring in the chat, though. I love your energy. Sophia, let's go. Congratulations. Let's go. Yep. Yvette, let's go. Congrat Comment the word purchase, y'all, so I know. Let's go. Yep. Congratulations, uh, Yvette. Congratulations, Sophie. Congratulations, Nicole Davis. Are we related? Right? Congratulations, everybody. I drove to the bank. I'm in. The kid said I drove to the bank. Let's go. Congratulations. Purchase. I'm pumped. Let's get it. Um, purchase won't complete. Give us a text or a call. Robin London said I'm in. Congratulations. Let's go, everybody. Let me bring my guy Mark in real quick, man. My dog. Uh, let's bring him in. Uh, let's see where he at. Duh, duh, duh. All right. Mark, my guy. Bro, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. You sound tired, man. You might have been working hard. What's up, dog? Uh, uh, uh. Good day, bro. We, we, we moved the room, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, hit your video on if you can, Mark, if you're available. Uh, let's see here. All right. I just need you to enable it if they I can't because the host is disabled. It. Okay. You should be able because I thought I made you a, a co-host. Okay. Make co-host. Don't hit no other buttons. Whatever you do. <laughs> You good though. You can unmute. What's up, King? Yes, sir. I feel like I, I feel I feel good. I feel like I saw a post maybe on Instagram or Facebook about the second space. Uh how's it going, bro? Everything's going great, man. Um listen, we just we just leveraging this year, you know, and, and just finding other ways to be successful, bro. And and just really taking this uh all the information we learned from the first spot. 
you know, to be successful and just thinking of new strategies and new things. So, I mean, we got a whole plan coming in from last year to this year that is in effect. I mean, we didn't have uh, this year so far, we probably got like 15 events booked so far, you know, coming in this year at the, at the largest space. And it's just the numbers on that just keep going crazy. So, you know, I'm excited about that, man. I'm excited about what we got to come in. We still do all small little renovations and stuff in there. You know how the game goes. I mean, but you know, the spot looked yeah. crazy, though. The spot already it feel like it didn't need nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I, and I, I, my kids, they in a the bag. They just, they just jumped off the shower. We getting ready for school. Bro. Oh, no, you like, good. I, I ain't going to hold you, but for a couple minutes, bro. I just, I, I, I always, what I, what I love, Marcus, is one thing that I love that I could do is, I could give people real live examples. Like it's not just a presentation where I literally can probably, if we wanted to, get 20, 30 people on a night that can come on here and share how they win it, meaning tonight at the last minute, because that's just the environment that we have and that's the amount of people we've been able to help. Because it's one thing to be on here teaching people and selling people how to do this. It's another thing to actually have receipts and results on individuals yeah. like you. And and I don't know if you don't mind telling you on Wifey's story or how y'all got in the game. Cause I know it was something yeah. about wifey was retired. It was a lot. It was a lot happening at that time. I just want people to really yeah. understand that. I'm gonna use the restroom yeah. while you do that, real quick, Mark. No, absolutely. Um, so me and my wife, we she been trying to tell, talking to me about Neo for a minute. You know what he was doing and how he was doing things. And you know, for us, uh, we was at a point where we was living in our uh, our mom basement, my mom basement, and. We had three kids. I mean, the, the space was small. We barely had any room to do anything. And she kept bringing me this, this Neo. And she's like, this guy is really, you know, impactful. You will love him. He a motivator. And this, you like stuff like this. And listen, y'all, I really wasn't trying to give Neo no rap at first. Like, I'm like, yeah, this is dude. He out here selling stuff like everybody out here selling stuff. And I was like, no game for me. I'm good. And, um... I just was like, one day I just hit a point where, you know, you, you get engrossed and you say, only time, my name is Mark as well, so only time that um, you can grow is if you take opportunities. Like, if you don't take advantage of opportunities, you'll never understand if that opportunity works, right? So, if, no, if nothing, if you don't do anything for anything to happen, nothing happens. So, what we did was, um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get this opportunity. I'm going to get this chance. I pray you're doing it. You know, me and my wife, we we we, in, we love the Lord. We pray you're doing. It. I say, yo, let's go ahead and do it. Like, what? I mean, let's make the investment. I'm kind of jealous because y'all give me some. <laughs> he give me all some great stuff. You know that is different that we got when we first got in, and I love it that it's true to grow like that. And um, we made the investment. We went through getting our first spot. And when I say like in our first year, like what I was making at my job. Like, I was able to leave. I was done. My wife was still, like, attached to, you know, her job because she was working at the IRS, you know, so we tried to try to make a plan of, hey, work there, learn as much as you can on the business side so when you come out, we can benefit this on what we have on the business side, you know, over here. She did that, and she was kind of scared to take the leap because she was like, I see it working, but, like, what can, like, I'm scared to leave the job. And I'm like, listen, babe, if we made this investment, we all in, we build all of this, why not? Like, why not be all in? And when she lends herself to the process of being all in, like, our, our when I say our money doubled, like, our money doubled. So we went from making, you know, 65000 in a year, you know, to making, you know, like 125000 And, I mean, we couldn't do that. And we, we did that in two years, y'all. You know, just honestly, we did we did that in two years and was able to leverage the event space in two years to be able to make that. And I don't know anywhere you can go in a job and make a hundred K plus in two years. Yeah. And and not even that though, the the other biggest thing is is that it's really the time freedom play, bro. Like yeah. I the money is cool, right? Somebody said OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. No, the money is cool, but but it's the time freedom. My God, PD left his job, you know, on the idea of the time freedom. Like, y'all, the biggest yeah. thing was time freedom. And another thing about Marcus, y'all, this dude got a, him and his wife, he got a whole production company. They shot my wedding. 
So then you get other money. Like somebody say, I need all the money, y'all. It's not. This is the year where you need to be really turning your talents and your gifts into cash flow, y'all. Like, how do I make the money I'm making on my job to make more money? I'm letting y'all know rough times are coming. And if you only have one source in one way, you are putting yourself at, 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 at liberty of something bad going wrong. Like, think about if somebody fire you and they say no unemployment for six months right now. Somebody in the chat really tell me what happens in six months if they say, yo, we can't pay you for another six months. And they fire you tomorrow when you go in. I'm telling you that yeah. that probably wouldn't be the best thing. Yeah. No, that, that freedom that you're talking about, me, is, is key because that freedom allows us to, you know, really invest in other stuff and do other things. So, I mean, I got three kids. Y'all have heard them in the background. Like, you know, this is all about being able to do stuff with them, being able to leverage my time with them. I spend more time with my, my kids than I ever spent ever in my life with them being here. And when I say, like, I really value that to the core, I value that. But I know the work that I got to put in to be able to do that. So with a level of freedom come a level of responsibility, you know. So we got to be able to take what we have with that freedom, have fun with it, but also on responsibility and take care of the things that we need to do. And, you know, as we continue to do that, as me was saying, we got what's space number two. Like, I mean, we are already in this year looking at space number three. Like, I'm not even planning Space number three is gonna hold four hundred people. We going for the wedding. Ooh, so 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 I'm gonna get the wetting. I'm gonna shoot the wetting. <laughs> you, you already see it, there, right? You know I, I see it. Oh, and I'm gonna shoot my movies in the venues. Oh there my go. gosh. Yeah, and we can offer it for other. I mean, it's, and it's really about expanding out with this whole thing. And like I was telling them, Lee, when I first came into this. Uh, I heard you the earlier, somebody, uh, when he was like, listen, this ain't no scam. We don't need it. Like, listen, I, w I was on the same type of time when I first, like, was thinking about this whole type, all this. But I say, listen, if I don't lend myself to the process, if I don't do nothing, nothing happens. Like, I'm at rock bottom. Like, what's, what's the worst that can happen right now? And when I say, like, me ain't selling no dreams, he not selling y'all, like, you know, this and that. Like, you really got to go put the work in, but it's in you back, yo. Like, it, and it's just not money, like you said, it's freedom, it's flexibility, it's being able to take assets from this and then create other things for your children, generational wealth, you know, and if you want to be like the olive branch to send this to your children, like, we got to think about generations after us, right? This not just about us, this is about our kids' kids, and my mom and dad didn't set me up right, so what, like, I want to set my kids up right, and... I owe them the obligation to be able to do that. And if I don't do that, I'm starting them from, from square zero. Like, how many of us walk into situations and we be like, we ain't in slavery times no more. Don't treat us like this and this and that. But we treat ourselves like that sometimes when we start our kids off with zero, with nothing, but still preach the same thing of, you got to work harder than the next man. Like, that does, like, come on. Hey. If they needed to do that, how do we set them up for that? Hey, bro, you got really, yeah, that, like, literally, we've been told the same concept, the same generation, and we've been messed up generation after generation, dog. I'm talking about the same work hard, dude. Working hard is nothing. We work, Mark work hard. I work hard. But we're working hard on the right thing. All working hard do is just make you tired when you're working on the wrong thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, listen, if you work hard on the wrong thing long enough, it will work. Trust me. Yeah. You will work yourself in exhaustion. You will work and your 80 years come. You're like, damn, where did life go? Y'all, life ain't meant not to live. Like we grinding, marking that mark, mark and white. They ain't grind mode right now. They ain't going to be always a, yeah. a movie about to hit off. More business is about to hit off. Like the time comes where, y'all, I put 15 years of grind in. I'm talking about 10 years of hard grind, heavy grind. But guess what? I never, ever thought, like, I wonder when it's going to work. Somebody in the chat right? hold on to your vision. You have to stick to it. You have to stick to it. What are you willing to give up in order to go up? I decided to stick to the process. I'm not letting up. I'm not letting up. I'm not letting go because if I don't do it, then who? I don't know. Is the, do, do you know if do you believe anyone else is coming to save you other than saving yourself? My brother, Mark, man, thank you so much, man. 
I appreciate you. Hey, I'm going to hit you. I might be in Philly. I'm going to probably come for one of them uh, playoff games. I'm going to... I'm gonna pull up out of venue okay. when I uh when I come through, man. I'm proud of you, bro. Tell wifey Thanks, I asked bro. about her. How how did the movie premiere go, bro? Uh, phenomenal, man. Uh, we just we just signed a one year deal on a platform, so uh, I can't wait to announce that. That's gonna be dope. And we already uh we got two other films slated for this year that for sure we know got we green lit on. And so we just preparing for that. And like you said, we using our venues in in, in this joint. You know, we, we just. Uh, got on the platform with other filmmakers where we leveraging our venue to use for film sets now. Yep. You yep. know, so yep. it's so many avenues and so many things that you can do, you know, and leverage this. And it just was like, hey, we just had to open ourselves up to the opportunity, you know, and then we jumping into some real estate this year as well. So uh, that that's a big one for me to be able to take what we're doing over here and then take that money and put it somewhere else. And that was when we talked about the freedom to be able to kind of like, open and create other streams of different stuff. So uh, definitely when you're here, man, let me know. I will, uh, We'll pull up to that playoff game too, man. I'll be getting um, like uh, floor seats, box seats and stuff. So yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. It's 100% going to be a box for me because I don't like being cold, dog. It's 100 100- I'm I'm praying though that they just go to the Super Bowl because then I'm going to Phoenix. I'm going to the Super Bowl no matter what. I think it's in Arizona. I just I really hate the cold, but you know I, I'll make a run of it when I get to Philly. No, so, sure. I, yeah. I, I've been spoiled with these box where you got your own room, your own bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Facts. So I'll probably do that too. What I want you to do, Mark, just so people could uh, tap in with you, just drop the link to your Instagram, to your venue, and what you got going on, my brother. And I want to say thanks for uh, hopping on here, my guy. Yeah, no, no doubt. Appreciate it, man. Good to send you my love, bro. Got you, Kane. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and hop into some questions, man, really quick. Um, so very quick, let me go ahead and let y'all know how you guys are. We're going to do the cash giveaway really quick. Um, let y'all know how this is going to work. So with the cash giveaway, uh, you got to subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, one second. So you got to subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, let me hide. Uh, Mark, remove. Stop video. I'm going to stop your video, Mark, just for a second so it's out the way. All right, so really quick, um, you can subscribe to my YouTube link. You have to join a private Facebook group. Go in a private Facebook group in the Event Space Webinar Facebook group and just literally just give your takeaway, right? It's supposed to be video. Like, honestly, the person who's going to do video will probably be the one to win it. Y'all could choose. I'll do one person a 1,000 or I'll do two people 500. It's, it's up to you guys. The more, the merrier. Um, so you subscribe to my YouTube, you go leave a review in the private Facebook group, and you have tagged me on the Instagram, and we'll go ahead and select somebody, uh, two people 500 or one person 1,000. And Richie, if somebody can go check my Instagram now, whoever's in my Instagram, let's go ahead and see somebody who tagged this already from earlier for that $200 cash that we could send that right now. Um, I've been in these groups. Awesome. Cool. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and knock out some of y'all questions that y'all have for me. And let's go. See what we got. Drop y'all questions inside the chat. I got $1,000 from PayPal. How do I get the rest? I have Evan Chan, a, a, e dot, uh, email, I mean, text Chris Sanders. Chris, drop your info. Yep. Um, I'm 17 and I've been looking into real estate. Is there anything I could do before I turn 18 to be prepared, prepared for future investments? I'll say run all of these plays we talking about, Daylon. Are we giving event planners a big discount? The price I gave you is the lowest we can go. How easy and fast is it to get a space? Finding the space can take you a week. It could take you a month. It could take you six months. It really depends on the work ethic that you put in. Neo, I'm thinking about making this investment, but I'm scared. Listen, I understand. I was scared when I used to make these type of investments or when I started. But when I start getting the results from me making the investments, making the investments became irrelevant. Like it became so easy for me to invest in myself because of the amount of money that I started making as a result of making the investments. How do you find a crew? We teach you the websites that you go on in a in way to find your one employee. 
Um, the, 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 the question, if someone came to my space and trip and fall inside my venue, am I responsible or so? Trudy, yes. You want to go ahead and get you a million dollars general liability insurance policy. Sophia, Sophia said, I purchased now. What's next? Sophia, check your email. You're going to get access to everything. In two days, everybody here, can I over deliver again? In two days, two or three days, we want to give everybody an orientation call to get started. Is it okay if we do that? Everybody who's starting, we want to give you an orientation call within two to three days. And in that orientation call, we're going to tell you everything. But prior to it, you start going through the information so you could bring questions on that call. Yep. Um, let me see what else we got. Neo, what you have, what if you have three people who want to partner together? They don't have a lot of money. Their credits are around six or one. Is there any way we can improve together for a loan? Uh, I don't really, we don't have an option for that, honestly. Um, it's just one person really get access to the program. We recommend partners like if it's somebody in your household, like friends that's not in, they won't have, ac only one person gets access to the program per se. Uh, hey, can you, can my first event space be upstairs? It's 1,400 square feet, 800 per month. The floors are carpet and the walls. I don't personally like carpet at all. Carpet works. And yes, it could be upstairs. Everybody don't love upstairs, but it's better than not having anything. What are good sites to find spaces? One of the websites is crexy.com. Y'all could drop some more questions in the chat really in, inside of the Q&A box. I'm more in-person hands-on learner. Do you guys ever meet in person? Yes, we do meet in person occasionally. What city are you in, A. Wilson? Can you get started with bad credit? Yes, you can. Um, a lot of times, some of the venue owners don't check your credit or you could leverage someone else's credit. Who are the coaches? We got a bunch of different coaches. So for a lot of you are going to, a lot of you honestly is y'all going to get so much. Normally how this works is you get so much game in this program. Then you go to our next program. Then you probably get up in my mastermind or just cause that's the nature of it. Um, but we got multiple coaches and this month, you guys will at least get access to three to four calls. This month is going to be heavy call month. That is normally for our next program, but you guys will get access. Website again. Which website are you referring to? Oh, the website to get in. Eventspacesecrets.com and PayPal credit. Yep. Cool. Any other questions? Drop some questions in the chat, y'all, because we about to go ahead and wrap it. Yeah, Crexy. C-R-E-X-I dot com. Let me know if you guys getting a lot of value. So, man, I'm excited, man. Pumped up for y'all. Everybody take a moment really quick. If you just made your investment, let us know. Um, so we could go ahead and salute you and highlight you really quick. Let me know if you just made your investment. Let me know if y'all just made your investment so we can highlight you and we can salute you. Jaki just got in. Let's get it. Kim G just got in. Let's go. Let me, pull. Let me go ahead and do this. Kind of purchase if you did a purchase paid in full. Jaki just got in. Let's go. Can we purchase the replay? I think we email you a replay. Tons of value. Let's go. Everybody comment below really quick, though. What did y'all think about the workshop, though? Right? Comment below. Like, if y'all got a let me know what y'all thought about the workshop today. Let me know what y'all thought about the workshop today. I'm excited to get started. Amazing. Awesome. Very informative. Uh, it was great. Great information. Motivational. Amazing. Amazing. The workshop was incredible. Thank you. Info overload. Thank you. Great info. Dope. It was fantastic. Um, awesome. I watched many free webinars. This was the best one. Motivational. Awesome. Phenomenal. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited and I'm nervous. We got you, Doc. I can't write that fast. Transparent. Very helpful. Let's get it. So really quick, y'all, for those who made the investment, I want to ask everybody, for those who made the investment first, how did you guys hear about me? For those who made the investment, then I'm going to go to people who didn't, but I want to go, how did y'all hear about me? I always love to know, like, how did people find me? Social media, where at? EYL, my guys, Facebook, IG. Is it a Facebook ad? Is it IG? Tell me specifically. Sonia. Okay, Sophia. 
YouTube, initially EYL, let's go, Facebook ad, um, IG ad, million dollars worth of game, David Shans. I'm an earner also, love, well, we got you. Terica, that's my sis. Dana already followed you, let's go. D Porter, where millionaires made during the pandemic from new business. I'm certain there will be events during the recession. You got it, love. Shans, let's go. My daughter, IG ads years ago. Random search. David Shans, social proof. Steve Harvey. Do me a favor, uh, Richie, or somebody just screenshot these so we know. Steve Harvey show the first time. David Shans and Trapper, let's go. Anybody here from the Grow Your Biz Summit and then join? I follow you also a person at, at GoatCon. You're the first to plant the seeds of events-based ownership. Let's go, Shanae. Yep. If y'all if y'all join Grow Your Biz Summit, then join the program here. Let me know. Just write Summit. Congrats. FBA, money well spent. I've seen it multiple times before I decided to join. Let's go. Spurgo, my mentee. Let's go. Yep. Grow Your Biz Summit. Let's go. IG ad Summit. Alethea just purchased. Congratulations. Let's go. Summit. Cynthia, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cool. All right, y'all. So, look, we're about to go ahead and wrap up, man. I want to say congratulations to everybody who got in. This is your last time. This is what I want to do very quick because I want to wrap up, but I want to do something special. Um... And Richie, please, tomorrow we got to select people because I don't think we did the cruise. Uh-oh. Uh anyway, let me go ahead and tell y'all really quick. I'm going to wrap up. This is for the last five minutes, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here. How many people here? It's a couple things, questions I got. How many people here have not made the investment, but you may just have a question. I'm not sure why you haven't made the investment. You may have not. You may just have a question, right, um, that you just need answered, right? So if that's the case, let us know. Um, so we can answer it because it may be something that's stopping you, right? Second thing, how many people here have not made the investment, but you would like to make the investment? I'm going to give you five more minutes, but everybody who's making an investment, I want to add three more things that I did not have. So I want to add three more things that I did not have for those who are ready to make the investments. If that's you, someone say I'm ready, meaning you haven't. And if you already made the investment, y'all, you can leave. You don't have to be here any longer, um, but if those, I want to know who those individuals are because this will be for five more minutes and most likely it will be for five people. So Tawan is about to make the investment. I am King, Sharwana, okay, Keisha, Deshina. Okay, cool. So you guys will officially right now have until 1027. So it's not like a – and when it, once we wrap, it's over with, right? So let me go ahead and break down what I'm going to do. So – Every, you get everything you see on the screen, the event-based program, right? You get the websites, the contracts, templates, ads, text copy. You get expert interviews, T-shirt brand. Get that to your children. Um, but I want to go a little deeper, right? Google ads training from my brother, Salik, right? Private Telegram chat, right? Coaching calls, right, for this month. Passive income recordings, right? Event-based conference recordings that we just did. Next, can I over-deliver somebody right? Over-deliver, right? I want to give you guys access to the Circle of CEO Conference, the virtual event that we just did uh, last year, right? That's another 20 hours of content. We sell them recordings. I, I believe they're $1,000. Next, I want to give you guys, how many people here have kids? I want to give you guys access to our youth curriculum, third through fifth grade if you have one, sixth through eighth grade, ninth through 12th. We want to give you our full curriculum access. So if you have kids, they now can learn how to be an entrepreneur. Is it okay if I is it okay if I give you guys that? Next, this one other thing that Oyinka gave us last time. We want to give you a training on QuickBooks so you can do it or somebody on your team that can learn QuickBooks and HoneyBook, right? I want to give you guys that. And the final thing, everybody here, and I'm going to do this tomorrow cuz we haven't done this yet tomorrow. We'll go in a group and do this. We're going to give somebody a cruise outside of the country. So everybody who made this investment tonight or in the next five minutes, a cruise outside of the country. You got. We're going to put everybody in the will of names. And we're going to spin it and select somebody to get a cruise outside of the country. So that's everything I got. I'm done, y'all. Um, you officially got five more minutes for that. If you already purchased, you get everything that I just said. Check y'all emails. 
Um, and it's a wrap, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and get out of here. And one other thing I want to do, right? Um, I want to give y'all a minute. If y'all getting in right now, somebody say I'm about I'm I'm working on it. If you know you if you're making this investment in the next five minutes, because I'm about to wrap up, y'all. I'm done. I gotta go spend a little bit of time with my family. Um, but that's what I want to do. Richie, did you select that winner of the two hundred dollars? By the way, matter of fact, let me go do it myself. Let me go do this real quick. Somebody tagged me earlier. All right, let's see. All right, let's go. Nope, didn't tag me. Nope, didn't tag me. And I'm trying to make, all right, cool. Go to my other mailbox. Try and make it easy. All right, Melanin Bean, PF Shama, you just won 200 bucks. Hey, you just won $200 if you want to send us your PayPal information. Let's get it. So Melanin. You just want send that to Sade. All right, Sade, Richie. Let me know if you're here. Hey, she just won $200 if we could send that to her. Cool. All right, y'all. So that's a wrap, man. Go to eventspacesecrets.com. Um... Get full access to that. Leverage PayPal credit where you guys are able to get started right there. Zero percent interest as long as you pay it off in six months. I believe we even got Stripe Afterpay on there and we got Wise Bank. I don't know if we dropped the link to Wise Bank. So you should be able to get approved from one of those ways. Richie, I don't know if that link been dropped. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, the other contest. So the other contest, we're going to select somebody in a Facebook group tonight. So tomorrow you will see the winner of who that person is. If you're already in the Facebook group, let us know. Because we need to check if they did all of those things. Uh, Alex, I believe so. It is definitely an inquiry. Awesome. All right, cool. So, look, this is what I want to do right now because I'm about to wrap up, y'all. We're going to play a video. Richie, could we do this tonight? Um, I want to do... Richie, could we do this tonight? Let me just know. Um, we're about to go ahead and play this video. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up, Richie. But this is what I want to do. Um... For those, oh yeah, everybody get access to the cheat code for a year for those who made the investment. But for those who want to be a part of the cheat code, right? And you like, yo, Neil, I don't have the, I can't get in the program. I just don't have it. We got an educational platform called the Cheat Code, which we're rebranding right now. Our lawyers are looking into the new names for the company. But we got about 30 different instructors. I'm on there about event space. We got credit. We got 30 different instructors in there breaking down a bunch of games. Um, we want to give this to you guys for 99 cents, a dollar today, and then I think it's $19 a month, or you could get the year annually um, for like, I think it's like 200 bucks. And what I want to do is this will be a way that everybody can at least get started today. Is that something that you guys are okay with? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to honor two people to get in the program. I'll select somebody tonight. So Richie, we're going to go ahead and play PD's video as soon as that's done. You come back on here. Everybody who gets in the cheat code right now, put them in a will of names. And we're going to select somebody to win the course. It's a dollar for y'all to join. That's it. And we'll select somebody. And then we'll select another, someone else later in the week. So if you want to go ahead and drop their names, Richie, so they could go ahead and get access to that. Um, it's the cheat code.com. It's a dollar. And we'll select somebody to go ahead and win the whole program, y'all. Um, and I guess we'll select somebody. I think the video we're playing is like 20 minutes. So we could select somebody at 11 o'clock to win that. Y'all could just go sign up for the cheat code. I believe the website is thecheatcode.com. Thecheatcode.com. Is that the website, Richie? Yep. It's a dollar, y'all. So And then we'll select somebody to win tonight. And we'll select somebody to win in, in a week or so, later in the week. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. All right, y'all. So I'm out the wrap, man. Appreciate everybody tapping in. Um, let me know. Congratulations, everybody who got the program. Check your emails, y'all. Immediately start going through the program. You will have an orientation in a couple days.
We about to go crazy. Um, and how many and, and how many people ready for this? Another dope call with Neo, nothing but gems. How many people ready for this? Like how many people ready to get this game? Right? Like literally everything. Like where what she made? She said I made 63K in November. Like how many people ready for it? Right? How many people ready for it, right? So yeah, y'all, that's it, man. Appreciate y'all. Drop the code to the cheat code. Um, we gonna pick two people for five hundred each. Um, if you're signing up for the cheat code, say I am. Again, we gonna select somebody as soon as this video is done playing. You guys will. We gonna select one person to win the course now and one to win it later. Um, all you gotta do is join the cheat code right now. We are gonna put your name in the will and names, um, and we'll select you right here. So drop the code, Richie, so they could get in. Let me go ahead and hit this play button for you guys. Can y'all hear it? Or, or, you know, or do whatever. So it's just one of them things to where I just felt like I had to. And then it gave me the time to start a program, man. Get back in on my music. Like, I just feel like I was alive again. You know what I mean? So for that person. Hey, can y'all hear it? People, young time for money. Can y'all hear it? Let me know if y'all can hear it. Could y'all hear it or no? Could y'all hear it when it was playing? See, somebody's saying no. I need to know. Richie, could you hear it? All right, I'm about to play it. Let me know if y'all hear it. Like, you're literally giving your life for money. So that's the, that's the scariest part. Like, that's the riskiest part. Can you say something? All right, guys. So again, y'all, that's a wrap. I'm about to go ahead and play this for y'all. Y'all could go check it out. Again, 11 o'clock will come back, 11.05 or so. Um, and Richie, can you put everybody in the name so we could go in and select somebody? Somebody will at least win the course. It's somebody here like, yo, bro, I just couldn't afford it. But everybody can afford a dollar, y'all, or the annual program. So go to thecheatcode.com so y'all could go in and get access to that ASAP. Um, keep dropping those links. Drop the link to everything we got. And I'll see y'all guys soon, y'all. Let's get it.
when I was 18, I moved to Philadelphia, um, stayed Philly some, Jersey some, went to college out there, got two bachelor's degrees that I never used, um, and then uh, just came back, you know, did music, um, just been doing music, started gospel, um, chased my dreams, moved to Cali, moved to um, Atlanta, just kind of all over, just trying to find my way. Um, always been a salesman, always been, you know, kind of like a go-getter hustler. Um, so I got my first real job um, when I decided to settle my butt down and get married. Like, give me this job. And it was in sales, and I did really good. And that's kind of when we met, we got in touch with you um, online. Um, and so as we were looking for a reception, uh, reception hall, we were like, man, this is like, this is crazy. Like, we could really get in here because we've seen, we instantly seen all these different ways that we were changing. Yeah. And so, um, I don't know how they got these phones set up, but somehow you popped up right after we were talking about an event space. So yeah. I was like, oh wow, uh, definitely tapped somehow. But uh, and I just that's had a crazy. Good, yeah, I just had a good feeling, man. I really did. Just just seeing you, you know, it's a whole lot of people uh, that's selling stuff, you know, online, and especially yeah. if you know, the cookie just, they seeing what you're searching. So if I'm already a personal, one of those personal growth type of people that be looking into that, you know, you see a lot of people and it's like, nah, I, I instantly had a connection with you before I ever purchased anything, before I ever got on a live uh, or, or one of your calls. And so once we got on the call, man, I was crying, my wife was. So more so than the content from the event space and all of that information, what really helped me in my life and my wife was the mindset. Um, yeah. So after purchasing the course, came with a whole lot of mindset that some people might call fluff. Yeah. It came with a whole lot of mindset content um, that really allowed me to, <clears throat> while I was in my office, man, I was writing down profitable event space owner. I'm a profitable event space owner. All these terms. Crazy. And, and why you talking? Go ahead and get it out, bro. You good, but it's so funny because you say this and I was we're considering doing a presentation again. I was going to take that out, but now that you're saying I'm on leave because it's that fluff thing. Like some, I still say affirmations every day, bro. And every day, I'm literally bro, I'm about to take that my, out. I got my alarm set, man. I got, I got a got things that I'm starting to just add to my personal day um just just adding to the foundation in which that I you know kind of started off off of the course and so I got a certain time where I say my daily affirmations I got a certain time where that I just added that I'm uh got from a book called the magic of thinking big and now I have to what so I got a time where I just smile for one minute and then I got a time where I just do my gratitude where I simply say what I'm thankful for. So that's three of daily alarms that I got set currently, presently. So, um, but it all stems from just the course. So basically what ended up happening was I'm killing it in insurance, killing it. Um, and so what type I of just, insurance was you selling? I was just, I was selling um, uh, property and casualty. So okay. auto, uh, homes, renters, that kind of, that kind of thing. And so, um, use all that money um, to start the event space, bro. And uh, that was in March of 2020. By August, bro, I killed it. Crazy. And, and just because I want to make sure I'm not, because I never heard the full story. So you initially, I came up on your phone. Then you joined, was it a webinar we had? I joined the webinar. I joined did the you webinar. Did you buy on the first time you joined the webinar, or did you have to watch it a few times? No, I bought, I, I, like I told you, bro, it hit us. Yeah. So I bought instantly. Like, if you know, you know. Now, right. if you want to just be dumb and just be ignored, then you yeah. can. Yeah. But who's to say, you know, that, that it still would have happened the same way? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So yeah, we took action, bro. Um, instantly, instantly started driving for dollars, driving around. I, I was taking pictures. I was taking pictures of buildings and photoshopping my name on the building. I was on it like that. Ooh. I was on it like that. Wow. Like, I got I got receipts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so. Uh, but just just literally did pretty much everything that the quest did verbatim. And uh, and a guy would definitely had his hands on it. I don't want to get. I can't sit up here and say I cannot give you all the credit because like right. I tell you, it was the smoothest process ever. It was the smoothest process ever. I knew exactly what the spot was that I wanted. It was not too big, not too small, perfect for me to get my feet wet. Hell, if I didn't make no money at those times, I could still scramble up. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know. So I'm like, cool, boom. Got in there, everything was sweet, landlord suite, much whole lot of parking on the main road, good neighborhood, not too good, not too bad. You know what I mean? Like everything that we was discussed. So but then from there, it just really I was I was able to buy my time back. You know, and then the automation part, you know, that you touched on was really the play. And not to touch on all of the extra ways to make money while you're building and whatever, but just allow me to really just start focusing, working out, um, just being there for my family, like just a whole lot of different things. And so, and so it's just, it's just definitely been a, a, a blessing, uh, ups and downs of every business, but we have never not been booked since we opened up and we never had a grand opening or nothing. Wow. And just so, so you go into a, you took the, day that you saw was the day that you bought it. Then you said March. You opened in March. Yeah, yeah. We had our first event in March 2020. 2020, right? Yeah. And you, you quit. You told me. When when did you quit now? I quit five months later. I quit five in months August. Later. Okay. Now, let me ask you. A lot of people still, and I think it's not, it's not a right or wrong way, but what made you say, yo, I'm out? Like, what made you say, because a lot of times you can just keep working your job and because it's more of a weekend, it's more of a weekend business than an everyday business, right? You can run it every day, and we, but what made you so, say, so let me, I'm out? So let me just put this out there because that's a very good point, and I very much well can now. Yeah. But here's the thing. If I had a, in my earlier stages running the space, if I had a kept my nine to five, right? then I wouldn't have got to a point to where I wouldn't have had enough. You know how they, you know, your slogan is it has to work or it has to work. work. If I still had all that money coming in from from insurance, I probably would have just been kind of treating the business like a stepchild. You know what I'm saying? Like I kind of probably would have been just, all right, uh, whatever. Now I know how to get on leads, land them, close them. I know how to run it without getting busy or do, but I never would have been able to do nothing of that if I would have kept working my job. So mm-hmm. that's the key. It's not that I had to. It was just that I also understand that now I can have the option of having my time back. I don't have to call somebody, uh, uh, call my boss and say, can I go out the country? I don't got to say, can I take a lunch or can I go to my daughter's school? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. literally, I was just telling my wife this the other day. This weekend, we got five events. We got Friday, two Sundays, two two Saturdays. Now, if I want to hire somebody, I already got a credit crew. To do my transition, I can hire somebody. If I want to keep that money, I go up there. But guess what? Friday is going to be clean already from Wednesday. Yeah. Saturday, uh, we, we get up there one hour to clean it for the first one, one hour for the second one. So that's pretty – that's that's – that's three events for two hours. Yeah. Sunday, the same thing. So you're looking at five hours for five events. So I work five hours, and you do the math on what we make at 750 event. Five hours. Seven, yeah. 14, 21, 28, 35. That's about 3750. Wow. Five hours, five hours of my physical time. And that's you got to think. I don't know what you made insurance in your last job, but, bro, my last job, bro, I worked 40, excuse me, 40 hours a week regular. Then the hours, that, now hours come home, hours return, 55 hours a week, 220 a month. I made $1,500 a month, which equaled like $6 and something per hour, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. So 
I mean, it's just made sense to me. And now, like, even with the – so another thing that you didn't know, the reason why I had to get back, um, I had a call before this. I'm actually uh, – I have enough time, bro. I'm actually learning – I'm about to be licensed in, in life insurance, becoming a financial advisor, man, because y'all, y'all told me the importance – uh, you, Marvin, uh, Marvin, I got his becoming your own bank. I purchased him 500 scores. I was just nasty. I was all in it. You know, started Pyramid Coast Solutions LLC. I had my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so now, boom, I had a, a training call right before this one. You know what I'm saying? So that was for for that new that, that new thing. You know, because I really want to show my family, teach my family about trust, show them how the life insurance policy is for why you're here. You know what I mean? So this is what the event space is allowing me to do. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have been able to do it unless I took that first step. Mm. You know what I mean? bro? How important for somebody listening to take that first or that next step? Because a lot of us, bro, we, and you say in 2020, that mean, I want to say, we're probably approaching a pandemic or was in a pandemic. And this is when I was getting the most for teaching them. I'm talking about hey, I you think came in, you like I was getting people going clubhouse rooms like just like hurt, like trying to tarnish my character saying, yo, you're getting over teaching people how to become financially. It's impossible, they told me, to make five grand, ten grand a month or have an event space. And, and the thing to you, I know you're ready, ready to talk is, I'm telling people, yo, three to ten grand a month. And you know I'm never, you go make 50 grand, I, I, I'm never over Space, but I'm telling you, my goal is that people make three grand to ten grand profit a month, and I was just getting like that can't happen. But what made you? I mean, you kind of said you just decided, but you decided to make that decision, and that literally changed like it's changing the trajectory of your family in the next generation. So, what would you tell that person who like they debating, like they're also probably about to listen to somebody try to talk some exactly. out of it? What, what, what? So, first of all, what I will say is this. For me, in order for me to, I feel like, have that faith, it was a more of a faith thing. It was God working with me on my faith, you know, uh, because it was just the fear of the unknown. Like, I'm talking just evade comfort zones. I was completely uncomfortable, the whole concept. Yeah. And so what that does is you start to operate and think differently than you do if you know you got a plan B. And it's just one of those things of, like you said, like you're a friendship audit. One of the last friends that I had, Dion Dawson, black man, owns a, one of the uh, biggest deluxe transportation companies uh, in Kansas City. He said, man, you got to leave that job. Mm. I was like, you got to leave that job. And uh, came to the event space, sat with me, had lunch. He said, hey, man, you ain't been back to work. What you doing? I said, hey, <laughs> you sure you want to know? You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm out of here, man. Took me out, you know, and uh, celebrated, but I just felt like, man, it was the right thing to do for me, you know, and so it was definitely scary, but for the person that's on the fence about it, man, every situation is different. You got to do what's smart for you and your family, hey. if, especially if you got children, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you never know because you, you listen, a loss, a fail, all of that stuff is learning. You can always get a job. I say, like, I, like I right now, like I can get a job whenever. You know what I mean? That's like, but what I, but when you got a job and you depend on that job, what you can't do is leave when you want to, or, or you know, or do whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of them things to where I just felt like I had to, and then it gave me the time to start a clothing brand, get back in on my music. Like I just feel like I was alive again. You know what I mean? So for that person, if you giving these people your time. For money, like you're literally giving your life for money. Wow. So that's the that's the scariest part. Like that's the riskiest part. And now that I'm learning about 401ks and all that stuff, how that works, I'm definitely cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool, I'm good. But well, let's figure it out. You know what I mean? But I have the time to do so. I have to spend on my, my spend more time with my children, travel more. You know, and so. And you said something that's powerful, bro. You said, and it's the reason why, and you said, I want to say on live, like, you have, I have yet to be like, we just talked about how you did 3,500 in a week, and it just, 
Oh my, that's amazing. I'm talking about that's three months of my last job grinding my face off. I'm talking about literally. And I'm like, yes, I love hearing about the money. If you ever, if you do that every week on average of three grand, that's ten. That's that's twelve grand a month. Now, what's your over there? What's what's your rent or or lease or what's what's that? You know, I ain't gonna believe me if I tell you. I think you, t- I think it's something crazy. Like it's like a, under a grand. I want to say something. Yeah, man, my rent, my rent is only seven hundred and fifty dollars a month, bro. Yeah. So wow. the overhead is low. Obviously, the rest of the bills is just like the house. I use my same accounts for everything for the TV. So we got the cameras, we got the the utilities, and I mean that's pretty much it. We we talking about based on those numbers, we looking at about fifteen hundred a month all in. Yeah, it's, we, fifteen. It's, yeah, fifteen two. Then you got your business insurance, which is fifty bucks. You know, for a million. You know what I mean? It's nothing, bro. Think about that though. Fifteen hundred a month, right? If, I don't care if you own. I don't care if, like, like you gotta think fifteen hundred a month, and if you just made the the thirty five hundred, that's still positive ten thousand dollars, twenty four thousand. I made a thousand revenue. tonight. I made a thousand tonight at open house. We just booked New Year. We just booked December thirty first tonight. Crazy. And I just put the book on the spot discount. I sold my, yeah. and then I sold my white kids. I was like, watch this. He was in the utility side. I said, watch this. I bet you I get him to get Lenny. Yeah. So. We gonna see. I was like, you know, you deal with like, hey, woof, go down to Christmas break, and this is really up scale. This is turning your bit. Uh, you already been up, you know. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah. high on yelling here. Look at this. You don't want these folks to share. You want these. Yeah. Like, yeah, we gonna go. Yeah. So I made a quick, made a quick cash tonight. They booked on the spot. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know. Bruh, listen, and, and I tell you, we, the reason why I really enjoy your process because we all in. But you got your time back. You said something that really touched me. You get to do your music again. You get yeah. to push your clothing line. Like yeah. you now in 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 banking. Like you in short. Like you can't do that if you don't own your time. Or you could do it. You just gonna be stressed. Like stretched thin. You gonna be. Thin. You gonna be up. You gonna be up. Like see, this is what y'all don't see, right? This is what you didn't know. Like when we was doing that build out, I was hearing the same stuff from family and friends. Yeah. Hey man, this is in the middle of the pandemic, and you building a event space. You spending all of these thousands. This was before you taught me about business credit. So I'm yeah. literally using all of my cash to build, and can't nobody even leave. I'm looking at other people who currently was in the loop that was figuring out creative ways to still get the bag in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm definitely still building this mug. Yeah. But but basically to to base what I to go back on what I was saying was. When you got a job, you definitely got to have super, super ambition because when I was getting off at 530, I was going over there to do the build out to about 2 a.m. for mm. two months. Mm. Get the build out by myself, me and my cousin. So I was, I, my work ethic while everybody else was Netflix chilling getting fat, I was going crazy. But now look. Mm. And now they probably like, dang, I wish I would have did what PD did with, 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 with. Well, instead, I was getting that PPP money buying gas and, and Louis and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, but you can, but it's just going to end up taking even more of your time from your family because when you get off that 9 to 5, then you got to go fight them for whatever extra it is that you're trying to accomplish when really you can use your own full day to go crazy. And then you with the kids when they get out of school. Bro, powerful. What would you say? What would you say your total startup cost was for your? I know everybody. My total thinking. startup cost was ten grand. Wow, and that include first month, last month security. Oh, that that included everything. Bro, think about that. Was that. my build out. I did everything top to bottom. Ten grand. Ten grand. No bro, cap. Is it, bro, you gotta really understand. Ten grand to build out a business. Then it's fifteen hundred a month to operate it. And if you do an average of two thousand dollars a week on average, that's eight grand a month. That's about six grand a month profit. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Plus yeah. the freedom and the time freedom is. Yeah, because you think about it, it's like man, even we people live to their means. Like yeah. the more you make, the more you spend. If less, yeah. you don't have. If it's less, you're disciplined. But yeah. even when I was making, uh, 
six figures selling insurance. I'm still living to my means. I'm still feeling like I was broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So hell, what's the difference? Yeah. You know, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to set it up. And then I'm going to make it work. You know what I mean? So now we're looking at getting the second. we getting the next week. That's right next door to us. I ain't tell you that. We get in the next we we get uh-huh. next week uh right next door to us. It was supposed to be a boutique, but the lady just stopped doing her build out and just put the paper on the wall. I called the manager like, yo, what's up with that? She like, Miss Sasha just came in. I would love for you to have it. I was like, okay, well let's begin. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about breaking the wall down and just expanding, expanding the space. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How big is how big is the next door? Because I know I think you had about seven hundred to nine hundred. How much? How big is the yeah. next door? Yeah, so it'll, it'll, the next door is about the same exact size. So I'll be around 1500 if I do that. So let me ask you just while, just nerding out, would it make sense to go ahead and build it out so you could charge more, or do it make sense to go ahead and just be running two events simultaneously? Well, the, well, the thing is, um, I would yeah. want to either do two simultaneously, but I think that with the noise, because the walls are paper. Yeah. That say if I'm having one type of event on this side, it'll be kind of complaints, and I'm yeah. I'm five star review scholar, so I yeah. gotta yeah. I gotta get those things off my on my Google review. So I probably would just expand it, um, or I was thinking about using it for a storage to start a party rental. Uh, mm. Ooh, powerful. Yeah, powerful. yeah. So either one, I, I don't know because I think it might be a little bit longer and not as as wide as mine. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if it is, then I'm going to just probably use it as a party rental place because with our spot, we don't have as much storage. So then I'll be able to just come up with some more money that way, another stream that way. Mm, powerful, bro. Man, I'm just, you got me smiling ear for ear just hearing just all the new opportunities, the new brands, the new bit. I know you just said you just came back from out of the country with you and wifey, man. Just Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Three kids, just, bro, I just... I like when people are fulfilled, bro. Like, it's something that it does it for me. I don't, the money sounds cool and all that, but are you fulfilled? Are you happy? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Like, we're literally making all this money and then you're unfulfilled and you hate what you do. So I always love when I'm hearing, like, man, actually, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. It's not just Yeah, some, man. Yeah. yeah, man. I, I thank God, man, for your mom. Uh, she really did a, a, a tremendous job with you. It was a pleasure to meet her, a pleasure to meet your wife, uh, your beautiful kids. Listen, man, um, I'm telling you, bro, like, everything that you're doing, the way you're doing it, the demeanor, your character, it just is obviously that you're a leader by God, bro. And so I appreciate you for being obedient. I appreciate you for remaining humble. See, people don't think, people think because they can see your lifestyle that you might, it's no way to be humble and live like that. Absolutely it is. Yeah. And you're you're the example. Like you're yeah. you're a perfect example of that. And so yeah. it's just one of those things that hey man, I don't care about any of this. This is just comes with all of the work that I'm putting yeah. in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. so that's that's the that's the type of mentor that I like. That I would yeah, like. And I, and I and I appreciate that. Hey, how's it, how have it been with just peers and family now? Are they now inspired? Are they now like, yo, bro, keep going? Or are they some of them trying to follow in, in your footsteps now? Um, well, you know, you got the whole uh, family thing where, oh, man, I've been trying to start one of those, man. I was about to do X, Y, Z, and I was yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, as far as my friends, man, um, I didn't really hang out with a lot of people anyway, uh, especially after I got married. But when I did college, we had a group text. And um, I'm like, man, like, what is the point of this group text? Like, so then I kind of checked that. And, um, and now it's completely edifying. It's just plays, money plays. It's not just to hit me up to go spend money or go out. Like so that switch, that aspect switch. Um, prayed to have find some millionaire friends. They came, you know what I mean. So just everything kind of just is switching. Um, I will say that I'm not even close to where I'm a product today. I'm a product of what I was doing five years ago. You know, so right now what I'm doing, I can't wait to see where I'm going to be because right now my current situation obviously ain't where I'm about to end up. Hey, you bro, know? You, I don't think you scratched the surface. You just, you just put your toe in the water. Started. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting, yeah. I'm talking about you've been in, you've been in the game since, since the group truck. years, bro. You've yeah. been in the game since the group truck. I'm talking about I was, I was in college selling t-shirts. 
shots from recording uh, B boys in my apartment on cloud. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I was hustling, but I never was like, this is all I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, so so, so um, how long it been now? Full time for you now? It's about two years since you said about, about a year, a year, a year, a year, a year and five months. Well, ma- imagine what five years gonna look like. I'm talking about you gonna have I'm all already, these insurance I'm, clients, more events, like your music I'm starts playing, going bro, crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. So I'm gonna just pull up in Atlanta, like I'm gonna just pull up Roby, like yeah, yeah. Be like that's my guy right there. What, 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 what you thinking? What's your dream car? What you want? Man, I want a C wagon. Exactly. You need to go do the same thing you did with the uh, Ben Stacy Photoshop. Y'all need to go pull up on one of them. And uh, if that's what you want, you go do it. Now, again, somebody listening to the interview, I like hearing, like, what are people's dreams? Like, what are your aspirations? Because I want to look that. Olympic, we have to be specific. You already know. So I want to go back and, hey, PD, be tapped in. I appreciate it. <laughs> you got to go, you, you got to really go take a look. Y'all, at what your future looks like. You got to go into the minds of the people. So, Pete, I ain't going to hold you, man. I just want to say thank you. I, I, I guess a couple more questions. We'll wrap it up, man. What would you say to somebody who's on the fence about joining the program, man? Like somebody that they, they're debating, like, yo, I wonder if I should do this. And I know you alluded earlier, you got to make that decision on your own. But mm-hmm. why, why do you think? Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you're on the fence, it would obviously have to be for the cause. Um, that would be the only reason why it would be for the cause. Okay, cool. So you gotta say it's gonna cost me this much if if I if I get it. But then you gotta say how much will it cost me if I don't get it. So let me just tell you about me. If I didn't get it, then I made over a hundred thousand. So I would have it would have cost me over a hundred thousand for my one space if I never would have got it. So that's what, if you're on the fence, you got to say, okay, how much would it cost me if I don't get it? And then, like I said, just outside of the event space alone, the mentality that is embedded within the course is different. And the community that comes with you, I talk to my ESS gang every single day. So so it's pretty much like all of that that comes with it is is different, bro. It's, it's a community, like I said, I'm in multiple communities. You know what I mean? It's a community that that is 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 not like anything like it from the head down. Bro, that's powerful, bro. Listen, I'm just excited for you, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, I'm really pumped up to see where you're gonna be. If I could see a few years down, I see bigger, another big insurance company. You are running more events, Stacy. Just a lot of abundance, man. Just what you're doing times ten. And uh, it's, it's dope that I can say it because I remember where I was five years ago. And I remember where I was five years before that. And you all in, you already made up that mind. It got to work or it got to work, bro. So I just want to say thanks for taking time out. We're going to go ahead and run another interview. We're going to do that with you and Wifey in the space, man. Because I also just love y'all couples, y'all friends. Oh, yeah, you got to get your Miss T on. Yeah, yeah. You I got to get y'all, your Miss T on. I, I, I like the energy that y'all possess. And Wifey always fly. Y'all together, y'all that's why she, fly. That's why she wasn't on this one, because she just yeah. took her lace front out. You know what I mean? So she, you know, she ain't going to, she just, she got to be pristine. You know yeah, what I mean? pristine, laid yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So, Petey, bro, thank you once again. I look forward to just continue to see you grow. I'll see you next time you're in Atlanta, man. And keep just run it up, bro. Don't take your foot off the gas and anything you can do to help me and continue to serve you. Let us know, brother. Thank you. All right, man. Love you, bro. Love you too, bro. Peace. Bye-bye.
Yo, yo, what up, y'all? So look, y'all, we gonna wrap. I got the winner right here. So the winner is, and I, and I hope she's here. The winner of the course tonight. And she is here too. Her name is Mia McDaniels. Let me know if that's you, Mia. Mia McDaniels. Uh, if you could you could talk, please, if you're able to. Hit the allow talk button. Mia McDaniels, you are the course winner. Whole package. I'm here. What up, Mia? What up? What up? Yep. Hi. Congratulations, Queen. How you feeling? Oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh. I'm so excited when the video just ended. I was like, oh no, is that it? Like, I want more. I want more. I've been listening. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, congratulations. You just won, Queen. So we're excited for you. Um, you could check your email already. Team has already sent you access um, to the program. And um, that's because you took action. And anybody here who took action, y'all, we're going to pick somebody else later again this week. So uh, your time ain't up. I might mess around and pick, pick three people. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm feeling good. You know what I'm going to do? You good, Mia? Oh, my God. I'm so good. I'm so happy right now. Wow. I don't even understand. Love, 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 love. I'm happy to hear it. Hold on. Let's see if we can get Mia up on this video. Hold on, Mia. Hold on. Let's see if we can get Mia up here so we can see what Mia looks like. Hold on. Get me on here. She just won a course. Hold on. Let's see where me at. Let's see if we could get you on here. Yo, you know what I want to do, y'all? Join as panelists. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could do a panelist. Yep, do that. Okay, let me turn that on. So, guys, this is what I want to do. Let me ask her. Um, Oh, no, never mind. That's not. Um, let's see. Mia, you here? I'm here still, but the, um, the ability to accept went away. One second. Oh, let's see really quick. Oh, the ability to set one away? Yeah. Oh, uh, let's try it again. You could try it now. Oh, there it is. Okay. All righty. You cut your video on me, Larry. I like to know when people don't think this is, that some people may think stuff is fake. <laughs> Uh, I don't know Mia from a can of paint. Uh, you can unmute Mia. Uh, we can. So I can unmute, but it says that you won't allow for the video. It says you can't start the video because the host has disabled it. Yeah, no, you should be able to check now. Uh, you got a, you a, I made you a co-host, so you should be able to do so. Okay. There we go. What up, Mia? So you just won you a course, Mia. You just won the full course. Um, yeah, you just won a whole course. I am so excited right now. And even though I'm looking a hot mess because I've been like trying to take notes and watch videos and I'm like, wait, I need the recording. And then I figured out it was on Facebook so I could go back and listen. And I was trying to tell my husband and I am so excited. Yeah, you enjoyed the training? I enjoyed it. Let me show my notes. Hold on a second. And I write small, so I was able to get like two pages. I've got my, I don't know if you can see my planner that I started in and my pages. Let's of go. Notes. Let's I go. I started making a list of all of my. Power friends yeah. that are going to be more than margarita buddies. Yep. Like, you're going to do this. And yep. I believe that the 
you know, what you type, what you're looking for, and I was looking for an event place for my daughter for yep. her birthday that's coming up. Mm. And then I was listening, like, what better place than my own? Mm. So I can write the party off. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. I'm always trying to party, which is why I was so intrigued and excited about this. And I just, like, I don't want to get, like, all emotional, but I'm super, super excited. So I'm hey. glad I won. Thank you so much. The information was, like, my son would say, hella fire. Love. Hella fire. I appreciate it. Well, listen, I feel like you are you were supposed to win. Uh, great energy. And uh, check your email, Queen. We look forward to it. Start going through it, and we'll see you this week on our orientation call and everything. So look forward to serving you, and uh, have an amazing night, Mia. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. No thank problem. You. And this is real. Oh, this is che- right hey, check. It's real. Or I thought you was asking me, is it real? I'm like, check your email. You'll see how real it is. Cause you, yeah, oh, you saying you? Yeah. Oh, to the people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't, I don't think, uh, well, one, I'm never going to ever do, uh, personally, I would never go through all of this, spend this amount of time and try to fake something. It's just too much. If somebody got that much energy, I mean, they're good. I don't even got the time to do something like that. Um, but no, Mia, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming on here, and I'm super proud of you. And um, let's get to it. We'll see you soon, Quinn. All right, thank you so much. Let's thank get you. it. Have a good one. Let's go. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're wrapping, y'all. Now I'm officially out, y'all. I got to go spend some time with my family. Congrats. Um, congratulations to everybody who's here. Um, let's see something. One second. Congratulations to everybody here. Neo Solid, I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see something really quick. Let's see. Cool. All right, y'all. Yeah, that's it, man. We're going to wrap up for the evening. I appreciate all y'all tapping in. Y'all, look out. Excuse me. Look out for the morning. We're going to go ahead and do two people for the $500 cash giveaway. Look out in the morning. Hopefully, you're one of them selected. Just subscribe. Leave a leave a re. Subscribe, you tag me in Instagram, and you leave a message in that Facebook group. We're going to go ahead and pick somebody. So y'all have a good night, y'all. appreciate y'all. And we'll select one other person from the cheat code this week. I'm probably going to do two. So start going through the cheat code tonight. Like start consuming as much info. 30 different instructors, y'all. See y'all soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Recording stuff.